Welcome back to RPG Quest, and we are starting a new game today. We're on to the fast forward game, the one that you guys voted for, so this is your fault. <laughs> Digimon World 4 on the PS2. You know it's going to be amazing. It's not. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it is. I've never played it. Maybe it'll break the uh, Digimon World court curse. I highly doubt it. We shall see. How's it going, everybody? Happy Saturday, Disguise. Say hello. Shuruguru, Floppy Plop, Cassette Cobra. Austrian nice guy, filthy bears, Alhara, Sparrows, Zero for Death, hello. Did I miss anybody? I think I think got everybody. Welcome back. So almost all GBA titles, yeah, it's a big chunk of GBA titles, minus the fast forward, which slim chance of being a GBA title, but we'll see. Yeah, you know Neptune's Nep Nep's gonna show up on the next fast forward again. After we beat this game, <laughs> we'll do some more fast forwards. Hey JD, how's it going? Welcome to Pain. I don't know, maybe maybe it's going to be like Saga Frontier, where people are like, oh, you're going to hate this game. It's like, no, 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 it can't be as bad as people say it is, and of course it is. But, I don't know. We'll see We'll see if it's worse than the previous Digimon World games. So far, the, be the best, and that's in quotation, in air quotes there, was number three. But we'll see. Will four finally break the curse? Do you get to vote on which character I pick? Now, there's four... Take a quick look at the manual. There's like four characters. I don't know. I'll pick whatever I feel like picking, I guess, at that point. <laughs> More of a... There, there's definitely some... The manual does mention there's some, like, some stuff you need to... Or you need certain elements to get past certain points. But from the sounds of it, you can use weapon abilities or weapon... Like, you can have, like, a fire weapon, for example, to to burn some areas and, like, lightning, that kind of stuff. We'll see. Spent a lot of points, yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of points spent on getting this one. <laughs> to win fast forward. Like, let's see how many extra votes for... I don't know how many how many points that ex equates to. I mean, a couple people used their, like, extra, extra vote that won 25,000. But there was uh, 113 extra votes for Digimon World. 113. It's like over a million points spent towards Digimon World 3. <laughs> People really wanted to have this game. So I could blame everybody, everybody in chat, for this game if it's bad. Yeah, I think it's like an action RPG. The manual made it sound like it's kind of roguelike. Mokachan, for the 41 months. How's it going, Mokachan? Thank you so much for the 41 months of awesome support. How far did we even go forwards? It's 2005, so two years. I mean, two years uh, in terms of RPG Quest is about, like, at this rate, is probably at least a year in terms of uh, how, how fast I go through the games. It's, the years are pretty dense at this point, so... It's a, it's a decent... It's not a, it's not like a big jump. We're not talking, like, 10-plus years, but... Chill music. Very chill music. Dormon. We are finally here from Stuition. Yeah, Nep lost for the second time. There's a big anti Nep push. But you know Nep Nep's gonna show up again for the third time in a row for fast forward. And it's going to go up against, like, Yakuza or something with a lot of votes. <laughs> game's actually called Digimon Digimon World 4, is it? That's no, called Digimon Digital Monsters Digimon World 4. <laughs> That's the full title according to the, main, according to the box. Digimon Digital Monsters Digital World 4. This music is very chill. Alright, what do we got? <clears throat> Might as well start the timer. Set the pain. Options. <laughs> a huge amount of options. Dungeon camera and light. Soft or hard light. So we'll keep it default and see what that looks like in game. I'm assuming you can change that in game. If has 200, 2,000 games, yeah, it's got plenty. So there's a good chance of it uh, showing up again. Alright. Start the game. 
Here we go. So we have four different safe slots. Great Digimon, call Digimon. Just call one. Hey Digimon, how you doing? <laughs> Can we import Digimons from the previous games? Probably not. Alright, we got Dorumon, Agumon, the classic, Vimon. Wasn't that like in the wasn't no, it was, it was Vidramon, yeah, I was gonna say. I'm trying to think of the the one that was like Wonder Swan Color one, which was probably the best Digimon game I've played so far. <laughs> I think it's like Vidramon, Gylemon, Dorumon. Let's double check the manual here. <clears throat> no Digimon friends to call. Wah wah. Yeah, here the DS ones are better, and of course the PS4 ones. It's got a nice full color manual. Zagumon is fire based, and he uses like axe type, quote unquote, blunt weapons, aka axe type weapons. If you're, if you're using a blunt axe, you're using you're not really using it very well. Vimon is lightning type slash skills. Gailmon is fire type with daggers. Dorumon, a prototype Digimon. He uses ice, and he, he bashes with a katana. With a katana. How the hell you bash with a katana? Oh, katana sound cool. Let's try Dorumon. Yeah, I mean Dorumon seems like a. Is he new to this one? It's called the prototype. So, Agumon, of course, is like you know, it's, it's a classic one. I mean, everybody knows Agumon. He, he's the Pikachu of. of uh, Digimon. Yeah, just like blunt, like Agumon uses blunt axes or something. Blunt weapons like axes. <laughs> What's his name? <laughs> God. Yeah, we'll call him Lan. I already forget his name. So when Digimon use weapons? Since this game, because you know that's a thing now. You want to sign this name? Yes. No. I mean, do you really need the second part of that? Yes. Assign this name. No. Change name. Thanks, game. I didn't know what yes and no meant. Level one. MP sixty. HP one hundred and seventy. To log into Digital World, so you can play like up to four players, obviously with multi tap. Weapons in Digimon World 3, but you never saw them. Invisible weapons. Main lobby terminal area. This looks like dot hack. <laughs> now loading. Home server. Nice short long load times. When holding an axe seems weird, yeah. Digi Elf. Oh, you must be the new official members of the Digital Security Guard. Otherwise known as the GSG. We are Digi Elves. Our role is to support the DSG. It's a pleasure working with you. We'd love to throw you a welcome party. But an error occurred in the home server a short while ago. Currently, the systems are under maintenance, so. It's a weird why. <laughs> All functions other than the call keeper, safe keeper, and bank keeper are down. Convenient. The gate to the outside world is also closed. You can't go to the other servers. Tell you the truth, I've never experienced anything like this before. I'm a little worried. I love how the Ys, they, they can't have things go like underneath the lines, so the Ys are like shifted up. <laughs> it just looks weird. The very cute Digi Elf. We have our DSG. I'm sure everything will be alright. Something with the Gs. Message from DSG! Message from DSG! All members who just logged in, report to Commander Ophanemon. Of like is he an orphan? <laughs> Ophanemon immediately. Wow, you've been called already. Check on Commander Ophanemon in the Commander Room. This is the gate to the Commander Room to get there. Good luck. Look at these amazing high quality shadows. At least the music's very chill. <laughs> Very, very chill music. Jump. <laughs> the weird button for jump, sure. 
strength, defense, wisdom, spirit, speed, resists. The weird numbers for resist. <laughs> what's, what's the maximum? 999? Data. Bits. Next level. Got a, ba a bash katana. <laughs> Usually bash and katana are two words that don't go well together. Shot pistol, a crush arm. No armor. Sub slot, no armor. Sub slot. Am I, do I, am I equipped with all these? Crush arm has more strength. Let's get the katana off now. Pixel shadows because they're digital. It does make sense. Ophenimans or angel? It's like angel wo woman. Angel woman. Most original name ever. Device folder. Break. <laughs> Discs. Key folder. Bits folder. Digivolve techniques. Dorumon. Bash skills. Specialist. Ice. Dark. Venom. Light. Heal light. Freeze. Bind. Blunt slash stab. Bash shots. Crush, blast, heal, force. Petty ice. Alright. <clears throat> Do like a map or something? There's one in the manual, but nothing in game. Currently, three weapon units are equipped in your weapon slots. Remember, in actual battle, you can only use weapon slots in the first slot. Then what's the point? <laughs> I know, right? Just like the blunt axe. Healing spot. The system maintenance should be over soon. Apologize for the inconvenience. Please be patient. It'll take a while. It's just weird carrying on this, this very... Bashful katana. <laughs> maybe it's just maybe it's just very shy. That's why it's called Bash Katana. I can call your friends to the server, so you can play together. You want to call your friends over to the server? But online play? <laughs> I guess this is probably like import saves or something. Digimon World Three was was okay until they they got you to go back and forth in the in the first island like fifty freaking times. It's like, hmm, I wonder if they're trying to pad this game out. So it started okay, and then, yeah, it got repetitive really fast. I need to see Chief Leomon, but I can't find him. That's strange. I guess I'll look one more time to find him. The room is not, not on the same floor as the main lobby. You must use a gate circle to get there. It must be the new GSG members who joined us today. Let's work together to protect the world of the digital, or the piece of the digital world. No one is counting on you. Are they, though? No, Voktai isn't an RPG, but uh, the later ones are, are more RPG-ish, so it made sense to play the original. You know, skip the first one, play the later ones, just doesn't feel right, so I, I threw it in there. And, you know, it was relatively short. It was fun, so it's like, whatever. <laughs> I made a, an, an ex executive decision to add it. Get to commander room. Get to the outside world. Really? You got a zone between different areas of the, the home hub? Yeah, there's two totally different stories, so <laughs> it's a significant difference. 
Like you're getting a completely different game. Yeah, it does look a little, a little weird. <clears throat> I guess that's why they're called Demi Kids. <laughs> Get half of the game. Good work. You see your save data here. Please save your game data up to this point. Sure. Yeah, I thought so too. So I initially had them as like one game, and then I, when it was coming up, and like looking looking at it, it's like, uh, wait a second, these are two completely different games. So I might as well split them up again. D two. Oh yeah, yeah, I got the games. <laughs> The reason I don't collect for GBA, being like an SMT game, it definitely jacks up the price significantly. Probably a fairly small print run, and being separate games, of course, uh, if you're collecting, you want to collect both. No, it doesn't. Everything, everything has like skill increases. <laughs> Ring fit. Yep, it's not an RPG. Fancy <clears throat> <laughs> and then play with Ring Fit. Be like the last game I get I play is I try to do a twelve hour stream of Ring Fit. Arcade initial D. Okay, such a, an awkward, such an awkward save system. What the hell? How many prompts is there? I just want to save. Don't give me like fifty freaking prompts to save the game. <laughs> choose this. Choose that. Choose the memory card. Choose the slot. Choose. Are you sure? And choose. Are you done saving? Choose. Do you want to return back to the thing? It's like what the fuck. Then you gotta wait like five minutes for it to load. <laughs> I don't wanna see that live, that live on stream. You know. What commander or oh, Phantomon has called you to the command room? What are you doing hanging around here? You better hurry up and get up there pronto. It's called exploring. Card keeper. Hey, do you collect trading cards? I've been doing it for a while, but I can't complete my collection. If you don't mind, come by and trade with me, okay? If you find a booster pack, bring it to me. I'll check it out for you. Booster packs. Yeah, I don't know what the card. The, I don't know if there's any point in collecting cards. The manual kind of mentioned the trading card thing, but doesn't doesn't say if it's used for anything. I'm not sure if it's just like a collecting thing. You just collect it for collection for collection's sake. In nearly 140 hours. <clears throat> just trade out in the field. You lose all the bits you've collected. That's why it's best to deposit your bits in the bank. Server maintenance was not scheduled. I wonder what happened. Various systems are not functioning because of maintenance. We're encountering serious technical difficulties. Manor of Phanemon is one of the greatest Digimon ever to lead the DSG. Everyone the DSG loves and respects him. Listen, sometimes a data crystal appears in the world, we call them bits. These bits are important because they make new data. That's why they are used as currency in the servers. Be sure to collect as many as you can. Hey, Bridget fan, thank you! 11,000 hours down, another 111,000 to go. Digimon World is currently comprised of 16 servers, including this one here. A server called the home server is the center of it all. It gives us a progression metric. It's 16 servers to get through. There's only a few Digimon and Digi-Elves in the main lobby. Everyone else is working in the other servers or fields. We are Digi-Elves. We are programs created to maintain the digital world. That's the reason everyone here is an excellent worker. 
They're the great workers. They're standing with their back to the keyboards all day. Your job is to protect the peace of the digital world. Hope you'll do your best. I'm counting on you. Are you, though? Special ID is required to operate this console. Hmm. Super secret console. I don't have enough bits to buy a present for the girl that I like. I have to try harder and collect more. Commander of Phantomon is the greatest leader of the DSG. Let me tell you something. I'm Commander of Phantomon's biggest fan. And the arm um, is I'm the bigger fan. They never hear of DGLs again. Yeah, pretty much right. Never heard of them before, so... We the DSG are like the police of the digital world. We're proud to have good people like you on our team. It's more like, hey, we don't want to make, uh, we don't want to model like too many Digimons. We're just gonna make these fake Digimon. We don't have to like have multiple Digimon hanging around. Can change your bits for various items. Of course, better items and stronger weapon units are worth more bits. I know, right? No, can't use this one. This game predicted it, man. Fake consoles. Hmm, okay, this is interesting. I'm studying the effects of the X data that was recently recovered. It looks like Digimon and it looks like Digimon and some ability chests can be powered up when the X data is used. If you get any X data, come by and I'll power you up. X data. You use a Digivolve technique, it restarts from level one. Be careful. Should I digivolve into this time? I I can be a cool Digimon like the commander. We're gonna totally go, go and turn into a Digimon or a, an Angel Woman. Yeah, Bucktie was a pretty fast one. I mean, it wasn't really an RPG. It was more of a, like a Zelda-ish clone, but later games are more RPG-ish, so. You think you'd be the Digimon? Yeah, it seems like it's going to be a hack and slash where you're, you're playing as a Digimon. I mean, in a way, it's probably better. You were the trainer or something. <clears throat> you fought with, the, with your Digimon. It's the DSG bank, where we stored and collected items and bits. What can I do for you? This is like... It almost feels like the uh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon games or Pokemon Ranger, that kind of stuff. We were actually playing as the Pokemon. Do you have anything in the bank? How's it in the bank? Draw item. No items. Welcome back, JD. Keep walking, keep walking. Walking is very good for your health. Good news. We'll be walking a lot more. Let's go. One, two, one, two. Been researching items for four for forty years. If you get any unknown items, just bring it over. I can tell what it is. For a price, of course. Bonjour, monsieur. I am Prince Mememon, a petite and wealthy Digimon. I have so many interesting items, but none that I'd really like. If monsieur would like my items, please make a trade with me. Oui, oui. Yeah. They, they couldn't have the hub in, like, one area. Like, was it, was it really that hard to make the hub one area? French line activated. The French accent is uh, coming out.
Yeah, apparently. It takes a while to load, too. There's a reason these digi-elves are, <laughs> are there. I was going to try that other light option, but I guess you can't do it from in the game. Sorry, research weapon units you pick up. Sorry, we're too busy right now. Why don't you come back later? But I want to get one now. Listen up, newbie. You can use weapons and armor when you battle. You'll need to become proficient in using weapons and armor in order to be considered a true GGSG member. Welcome to Brain! Population me. I just joined the GSG not too long ago. We're both newbies. Let's work together. Shh, don't talk to me. I'm checking the performance of an armor board. If you equip this, you'll add to your attributes. I'm almost done. Come back soon, okay? Today I'm supposed to go play with Guilem on the Amato server. I don't know what we're going to do. I'm looking really forward to it. You know what ability chips are? By equipping ability chips, you can increase the power of your various abilities. I can't give you any since you're new, but why don't you go see the commander first? <clears throat> but I want one now! Under inspection... What's up, middle and a middleman? I'm feeling large and in charge. Best believe that. <laughs> hey, Buck Pokemon Master, how's it going? Digimon Data Squad, yeah. Well, unless she shows up in the next fast forward and gets voted again. Notice the commander of Phantomon is jacked into his energy pot all day. I think it's the first time this has happened. I wonder what's going on. Jack into his energy pod. Of course, I'm going to di digivolve. How can you play a Digimon game and not digivolve? Bankkeeper. So, I guess a bankkeeper in both areas. Item shop. Of course, they're under maintenance. Goes back to where we were. That was like three areas. Each with loading areas. Or de evolve. Depends if it's like a. Hopefully it's like a natural upgrade thing, not all of a sudden, you know. You're, you're like some badass Digimon, and the next thing you know, you're like a freaking. The Unkomon or whatever, the. The, the Shitomon. <laughs> Turned to one of those by accident. I think we've seen everything. To the commander room. More loading screens. <laughs> yeah, isn't that, isn't that his name, Shitomon? I don't know, whatever whatever the hell that, that crap Digimon was. Kasokamon. <laughs> Sukamon, that's the one. Shitomon, you know. That one. Oh god, yeah, Final Fantasy Legends begins a hidden mutants. So you're a new DSG members. Members. <laughs> There's only one of me. You'll be a great help. We're locked inside the server due to a system error. Not many DSG members are left here, so everyone was worried. Anyway, you're still new. You may have many questions. If you need help, ask the Digi Elves on this floor first. If you're familiar with the systems of the world, they will surely give you useful advice. It's like Demi Kids. <laughs> What about Demi Kids? Just two of them? <laughs> oh, come on. J Star's Victory VS. Lots of cool games. Yeah, they're two different stories. Even though, like, obviously the game mechanics are going to be similar, but the, the stories are completely different. Not just, like, slightly different flavors of a story. Like, you're, you're playing, like, a completely different story. I don't know if they, like, link up at some point, but I know the start is definitely different, because I tried both games, and the start is, like, completely different. 
Also, you need to learn Digivolve techniques and Digivolve into other Digimon forms. Some Digivolve techniques can be acquired by raising your level. And others are given to you as a reward for accomplishing special quests. I suggest taking all the special quests whenever possible. I almost forgot. Commander of Phantomon wants to see you. Commander is in the last room along the hallway to your upper right. Be sure to behave in front of him, okay? Well then, we better go now. We're counting on you to protect the peace in the digital world. Oh yeah, for sure they meet. But I don't know if they, they, they combine at some point. Like, if you team up with them, and then the story is the same from that point on, or if they're just like... They just kind of like... Constantly like branch together and, branch and split up and get different stories completely through the, the entire thing. But I'm, I'm definitely planning on playing... Well, I'll, I'll play the first one for sure, like 100% for the first one. The second one, depending on how different it feels, like if, if let's say after the first hour they suddenly team up and then it's basically the same game, at that point I might just play the first one. But from what I understand, they're two very different stories, so other than the fact that they kind of meet up here and there. So for now, I split them up with both games on the list for now. So we shall see. Digital World is controlled by a program referred to as the Prophecy. Commander Room is the only place where the Prophecy can be accessed. Is there anything you want to know about saving and loading? Uh, how about no? <laughs> how do you save and load the game? Oh. Want to learn about the status screen? Sure. Bids experience. Got it. What was that thing? I think you mentioned about break. What was that break thing? That's one thing I wasn't sure about. Uh, do, do, do. Chickens. Special actions such as break, sort, and give. It doesn't tell you what the hell break does, but. <laughs> Demi kids. I don't know about dawn and dusk. I imagine those are probably a lot, a lot closer together. A, I'd have to read up more on those ones, but. <clears throat> Want to learn about going to other servers? Sure. Great, what do you want to know? I'm going to a home server from the outside server. Use the gate to the outside world located in the main lobby terminal area. When two members are present, all members must enter the gate. The last member to enter the gate will be able to select the transport destination. I love how it gives you two choices. Do you want to know different something different? Yes. What do you want to learn? How about the other thing <laughs> that you didn't tell me about? When returning to the home server from the outside server, use the gate disk in the disk folder. Digimon that use the gate disk will be transported to the emergency point. So it's just a recall spell. Gate disk used in a security hole. Was the gate disk was used in a security hole? What? <laughs> emergency gate will appear between the hole and the emergency area. So confusing names. Using the connected emergency gate, you'll be able to return to the security hole once. You exit you to the outside server without using the connected emergency gate. The link between emergency gate and security hole will disappear. Sounds like a recall spell, basically. You get like a, a town portal or whatever. You've come to pain, Reg. I don't know, so far, I mean, right now we're just in the home hub, so I guess we'll know once the game starts. It's, you know... How it is. I mean, so far it doesn't look terrible. Except the loading is obviously terrible. <laughs> Just in the home area, how many load screens have I gone through now? Like, ten? How do I recover HP and MP? Well, they come recover HP, three recovery tanks, and only Digimon that use them will be affected. Affected? <laughs> Close enough. Disc Alpha, Bravo, or Beta, and Gamma, I'm guessing. That's some really weird numbers. Why, why doesn't like 500, 2000, and like, I don't know, 5500 or something? Like, some really weird numbers. It's like 500 is a little too much. <laughs> Let's put it down to 450. 
And then the MP discs are different amounts. Like, why just make standardize them? Is it really hard? Let's get all button to bring up the item window. It's like disc using. Oh, Nep Nep's definitely gonna show up. <laughs> it's guaranteed. Nep Nep does not give up. Blah, blah. No. Kind of a folder, sure. Device disk key and the folder is full. Items can no longer be stored. It's a gate disk. This is limited inventory. As usual. I could destroy selected items. Okay, so break is just destroy. Oh, excuse me. Why can't it just call destroy? <laughs> Only five navy chips. Store weapon units, armor boards, and armor. Those other armor boards and ability chips. Limit the number of items can be stored inside of it. Must limit. <laughs> Not gonna tell me. You're only gonna find out once it's full. Store ten different disc items, as well as booster packs and keychains. Up to nine items can be stored for each type of item. I say separate the uh, discs from the devices so it doesn't use the same inventory. So, small thing, I guess that's good. Yakuza. But Yakuza will be the. Yeah, Yakuza never showed up again. <clears throat> if Yakuza went up against Nep Nep, I mean, Nep Nep would have a good 40 something votes ahead of it. So, it's gonna be. It's still be a. I mean, I would have a chance against Nep Nep. Otherwise, like, pretty much no other game would have a chance against Nep Nep if it, Nep Nep shows up again, so. Key items. Alright. It's fairly early, um. Uh, fairly early fast forward. I forget what it lost to. I think it lost to, uh, Breath of Fire, uh, Dragon Quarter. Because people really like pain. People don't like nice things. They like me to suffer. I'm gonna learn about I don't armor boards, sure. Well, items in the armor slot increase Digimon protection. Is that what armor does? It's other armor boards are equipable items in the sub slot increase Digimon protection parameters as well as other parameters. Those armor boards are equipped in the status screen. Equipment. The slot contains nothing. The armor board can be set immediately in the slot. Armor currently set in the slot can be changed in the status screen digit lab in the main lobby. What colors? There are some items displayed in different colors. Different color equipable items have increased parameters compared to regular items, so just rare items basically. Civil War strategy game. North and South? Never heard of it. Is it good? Never big, been big on those kind of war game things. Blue plus plus or minus 30? What? Oh, plus 1 to plus 30. <laughs> it's confusing. Green plus 31 to plus 100. Yellow. So blue, green, yellow. Orange, pink. So pink is the is like legendary, I guess, in this game. So it's pretty, it's pretty standard uh, legendary kind of like color scheme: blue, green, yellow, orange, pink. Great game shows up and everyone likes Neptunia shows up. Then <laughs> you can blame the Nep Nep faction. Oh god, Koei. <laughs> Koei strategy games, that's like. Might as well, it's like a spreadsheet simulator. Open units, sure. 
starting weapon units, changing weapon units, starting weapon units. There are three weapon units that Digimon are initially equipped with. Most effective combat skill will be equipped first. Strength parameter. Single handed weapons and double handed weapons. Is this a single handed katana? Because I'm only using it with one hand right now. But they have two hits, but each hit takes longer to complete. It's like timing based. This Digilab. Equip three weapon units to the weapon slot, and the first weapon will be equipped with an actual weapon unit to be used. Okay, so you can't switch in, I guess, when you're on the server. Yeah, <laughs> I don't consider the Koei games RPGs, the tactical games, strategy games. It's probably gonna be the same. No exiting. Not loud. You gotta listen to what he sh what he says. Ability chips, sure. We equip the mods attached to weapon units and armor boards. Three types of ability chips: chips for weapon units, armor boards, and for both. Can equip more than two ability chips that will raise the same parameter on an equipped item. Cannot equip ability chips onto item mods if the item itself is not equipped. Some ability chips that increase parameters that others items cannot. No. So gems. Icons? What the hell's an icon? <laughs> Attribute marks. These and screens such as status screen symbols denote the following attributes. Fire, ice, thunder, darkness. Item marks. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> what might teach you as you go? Just it's like here you go, this is just a big ass hub full of tutorial dudes. They'll tell you everything. Parameters in the status screen? Sure. Strength. More strength and more damage. Really? Is that what strength does? <clears throat> Mean will exist for a reason. <laughs> but Valve Manager. Good try. It press them on World 4. Yep. We'll have strategy quest. HP and backup chips. HP is Digimon's life gauge. When Digimon receives damage from the enemy, the HP decreases. When HP reaches zero, the Digimon is defeated. Is that how HP works? Digimon has been defeated. We'll leave a backup chip when we are transported to the main lobby. If one is defeated, the XP will decrease. Oh, great. No bits will remain in the backup chip. Let's gotta go back and pick up our souls. Digimon levels of 1, the XP will not decrease. Using a raised disc or raised tech rate or MP tech raise will revive Digimon back to normal. This feels like this feels like EverQuest. <laughs> you die, you're losing some XP, and you gotta go get your corpse. Hooray for corpse runs. If you don't use Rick Raise, you're losing your XP. Recover all bits, but the XP was slightly decreasing. You're still losing some XP, just like every quest. <laughs> or if you don't have Raise, you get your bits back, or you just lose that per like permanently if you don't have Raise. <clears throat> Digimon XP level. The XP level, the higher Digimon's parameters. Really? Is that how levels work? Increase it by defeating enemies. Man, it's a good thing they're teaching you all this stuff. I wouldn't know.
parameters, data resistance. X data graphic indicates the amount of X data picked up from the outside servers. You can increase the power of ability to shift Digimon parameters using the X data in the X data keeper in main library. Of course, the X data value will decrease it as it's used. Elemental damage. Well, don't change even in Digimon levels up. They can increase or decrease, but only by changing equipped items. Alright. How many of these dudes is there? <laughs> Digilab. Main digital. Is the main lobby central area of Digilab can do the following things? Use the Digivolve techniques the Digimon has learned. You will not be able to use Digivolve techniques in any other area. Equip units. Detach them. You cannot equip weapon units by just switching them from the device folder in the weapon slot. Don't learn about equipment? No. It's fine. Digivolve techniques, sure. Let's visit Digilab, the main lobby central area. When Digivolve techs are used, Digimon had equipped for Digivolution be detached. Is Div digital technique like Digivolving you? <laughs> Yeah, it does. It definitely has that MMO feel to it. And it is multiplayer too, although not like online, but. Well, they're talking about Digivolve techniques, so you can definitely Digivolve, but I don't know. If, I'm not sure if it's a permanent thing or if it's just like you can Digivolve using this technique and then maybe for like a limited time or something. I don't know. How do you attack? Using regular attacks, special MP techniques require MP. Thanks. Alright, enough tutorials. Go see the dude. So you've just joined the DSG, I've been waiting for you. Welcome to the DSG, I'm the commander of Phenomon. DSG is a very important section that maintains the safety of all digital worlds. Let's fight together to maintain the peace of this world. I'm counting on you. I'd like you to carry out the DSG task as soon as possible. But before that, I have a special mission for you. This mission is... This mission, if you choose to accept it... Haha, <laughs> how cliche was that? I'm sure you've already heard that the server is experiencing some difficulties. Actually, a while ago we lost contact with another server called the Amato server in the digital world. Immediately thereafter, a mysterious server called the Death Valley appeared. Since then, a malfunction error has spread throughout the server. Chief Leomon and a team of Digi-Elves went to survey the area. But since they entered Death Valley, we lost contact with them. Yeah, apparently, right? Hey, new kid, you want to go save the world now? Thanks. I probably doubt that for they forgot to contact us, so we suspect foul play. Go to Death Valley and find out any information regarding their whereabouts. That sounds like not a place you want to be going as, uh, as a newbie, Death Valley. You find them. I'd like you to rescue them and bring them back. I mean, if they can't rescue themselves, well, how the hell's a newbie gonna do it? You are only hope. We'll be counting on you. We're the only hope? How many freaking people are there in the DSG? If we're the, literally the only hope they have. These guys are screwed. Hey, Zero Dime. I mean, it's pretty typical. Most RPGs have, like, a town hub that's pretty large, so... So not all tutorials. Coney, California, yep. <clears throat> Seth Roth, zero diamond, forty nine months of support. 
Thanks so much for 49 months here, Dan. Very cool. A Trails game, yeah. I'm surprised we haven't seen a Trails game show up yet on fast forwards. It's a matter of time. Sephiroth and Frank Kumi! Thank you so much for the sub! Thanks for the support! Very cool. Oh, maybe we should go to the state first. <laughs> so we're gonna go through all the cutscene if we somehow die on our first trip. Wait, is there a save point, like, in this area? You know, like, near the entrance to the server, to the, to the world? Manual has a map. <laughs> Uh, start point. Sephiroth and John with the six months. Six months of awesome support, John. Thank you so much. Hype Train. Hype Train is here. Hype. Uh, no. Save. Save Keeper is only over here, so... I think they would have added one without having to zone out of this area. Trying to spend like five minutes going through a bunch of menus to save. Legend of Heroes, yeah. Low tier. Low tier is the best tier. Oops. Save. Yeah, I wonder how the, uh, I wonder how... I love how the save has a load screen to get this. <laughs> you really need a load screen to get this? This looks like a load screen. Somebody... I press start. <laughs> like so many dialogue options just to save. Saving is a pain in this game, my god. Save screen, yeah. We're gonna see the screen a lot, aren't we? Loading. Some bad uh, <clears throat> optimization. They have so many freaking load screens. All right, let's go to the outside world. Time for another load screen. Practice stage. Doesn't look like Death Valley at all. It's like we're going to the Matrix. Yay! <laughs> the most exciting gameplay. We should at least have a little mini game in the loading screen. Be so much better. Like this is what it took to like they had to load this. <laughs> This doesn't look like something that would take a long time to load. Before starting your adventure, let's practice the basic Digimon attacks. Press the X button to use weapon attacks, and press the circle button to jump, and press the the square button to jump to guard yourself. The damage each weapon attack will vary depending on the weapon unit equipped. Digilab in the main lobby, you can equip weapons you've obtained by defeating enemy you or have purchased. Pressing the circle button, you can jump over small gaps or enemies in the stage. Guard yourself from enemy packs by pressing the square button. Size caution because the guard period is short. Guarding yourself carefully, monitor the, mon the enemy's attacking time pressing the square button. 
I'll attack the L stick in the same direction while pressing the square button to perform a slam attack. It's like, you know, you didn't have enough tutorials, here's some more tutorials. Another useful technique when your Digimon is surrounded by enemies. Let's practice basic skills I just explained to you. In practice stage, your Digimon won't take any damage. You can practice your moves without worrying about losing HP. Next lesson once you've defeated all the enemies in the stage. Good luck. It's a slam attack. It's not really an attack, it's more of a <laughs> push them away. Thirty-two bits. Now we're playing with power. Excellent, you mastered the basic skills. Remember to press each button by carefully monitoring the enemy moves. I'm gonna explain a difficult technique called the spiral attack. The spiral attack can be initiated by circling the L stick 360 degrees and pressing the X button. So you give damage to all the enemies surrounding your Digimon. I wonder how tight the timing is. <laughs> I don't know about mastering it. MP techniques. <clears throat> R button open MP techniques. Right stick. Alright. Betty Ice. You've mastered MP techniques, the charge attack. <clears throat> Press and hold the X button, energy will start accumulating around your Digimon. Energy color will change from blue to yellow. Simple enough. Break rocks. Break the rocks in bushes and stage open the chests. Can you go past the yellow? And can't change the direction when you're charging, so you have to have the right angle before you start charging. I didn't pick up the item. <laughs> I was supposed to break everything. The game's like, nope, you're done now. Final lesson, defeat all the enemies in the stage by using the moves you just learned. <clears throat> Attention to gimmicks and stage just opening doors, appearing in bridges that will emerge once all the enemies are defeated. Good luck. Not done. <laughs> Apparently. Strong bushes. I have beaten the game. GG. Game Wilbur Man, can I fall over the edge again? At least not here, but maybe in the actual game. 
Go to Death Valley. Practice again, hell no. Cannot return to the practice stage. This okay. Are you absolutely sure you want you don't want to practice for the next five hours? Goblin pass? But we're going to Death Valley. Because <laughs> we're fighting goblins. Loading, 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 loading. Now loading! Putting a cutscene. Gaburumon! We're gonna walk like one step and then boom, another loading screen. Is this a mine or something? What is this? Exploration report number 001. Testing, testing. Can you hear me? This is the Chief Leomon. Be entering the unknown server to start an investigation. The exploration force of Digiels will record all cautions and other oddities that we see. Those who can follow us use the recordings as reference for this area. This sure is a Digimon World game. Yep. My ass kicked. Okay, hell, first enemy just. This is gonna be fun. Well then. <clears throat> Give me a lot of dying, isn't there? Destroy, revive, blah, 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 I guess. Yeah, apparently, jeez. <laughs> you know the game's gonna be hard when you die to the first freaking enemies. Don't die early on the game soft locks. You're supposed to die. That's that why would the hell they design something like that? Oh no, no go to commander room. No. Ow. Hooray, I screwed up. <laughs> We didn't give you the, the dying tutorial, therefore I, we don't know what to do. <laughs> Let's break the game. Oh yeah, I mean this is this is a four player game for a reason, right? We definitely want you to play this game multiplayer. Yeah, this is like uh, one of those games that wants you to use the multi-tap there for four players. Just <clears throat> we'll have to take our time, slowly but surely. Have to try to grind, I guess. So if you die, they just... You just get stuck because you don't get it. That screen isn't there, so the game doesn't know what to do. That's pretty stupid. I guess everybody in in like uh, everybody in testing died early on. How much of a charge shot if they block it constantly?
Oops. What am I doing? What is that? <laughs> Hello? Don't know. Yeah, rip my MP, right? God, the fact that these things just block constantly it does not help things. Oh, my tech went up. Try the shot pistol. Hit him with some range attacks, maybe. The fuck? <laughs> the dual wielding. Guess we're using range attacks from now on. <laughs> God, why are these things so fucking tanky? <laughs> it's like the first enemies in the game. Charge attacks of that too. Oh, this is where I died. I just realized, yeah. I don't have a revived thing, so I have no way of, like, reviving, getting my XP back or whatever. Nope. Guess we have to stick with range, because. doesn't lock on to anything, so... <laughs> be really good at the aim. God, don't go in the corner. Things despawn, I wonder. Uh, this is gonna be a slog if the enemies are this tanky. A longsword alpha. But we can't equip it, right? Because that's called the. Uh... What is that, like a mod for it? Made of clondigizoit metal. <laughs> We're gonna be using guns from now on. Gate disc. Many traps are hidden in the world to keep you from accomplishing your mission. All of them are smartly contrived, so be careful as you go on. Seems deadly. You come across areas where the doors are locked and you can't go any further. Open these doors, you usually need two or more specific ID passes. ID passes are kept by bosses in dungeons. Defeat them to obtain the necessary ID patches. When you have obtained all the ID bad passes needed to obtain or to open a door, several switches in front of the door will activate. Get on the last inactive switch to activate all switches in front of the door. The door will open to let you move on. It's only an example of traps. You may find ways to overcome other traps yourself. Here are you. Yeah, I think I need all the luck. Stop blocking. Got 
seems to be better than the other freaking katana. It's like double attack. Range attacks. Fucking hell. Stop tonguing me. I guess we're using range, because... Did real quick at this rate. It's a better wielding a microphone. God, how many enemies is there? Is there like a spawner over there? What the fuck? <laughs> what the hell? We're not going that way. Jesus. I'm gonna die again. Freaking out. Oh. What the fuck, game? <laughs> Seriously. Jesus. What the fuck? Stop it. <laughs> I can't. Seriously, what the hell? <laughs> no. Oh God. <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> yeah, fucking the iframes are the thing, apparently. This took like... Jesus Christ! What the hell? Why did you guys choose this? <laughs> this is bullshit. Fucking hell, this is the first level. It's the first level, like, are you serious here? What the actual hell is going on? Jesus. <laughs> yeah, this game does not want you to play the solo. Holy shit. Yeah, no kidding. People wanted absolute pain. My god. This is ridiculous. I gotta keep, like, the back area, like, where I've cleared before, like, free and just try to, like, slowly kite them one at a time, because you spawn too many, you are screwed. Rip all my bits and everything, and my experience. Jeez. Ah. <clears throat> <sighs> Being this bad, was there like a difficulty level that I accidentally put on to like maximum, like, purpling plenty? Like, this is brutal for the first fucking level. I could see this is like being a later level, and like, all right, you know, now the gloves are off. No, the gloves are just never went on to begin with. They just oops, shit. I can't even, like, leave the way you came in. You have to use a gate disc, I guess. 
Digimon World 3 was not this brutal. Like, Digimon World 3 was, was sane. This is just, like, starting right off the bat, and you're just... Like, I gotta play this like a like an old-school MMO. Just kite things constantly. Like, this def this definitely has the MMO feel way more than Digi than uh, Dot Hack did. <laughs> having to kite things that are, like, way too tanky for their level. Spend like hours just count kind cutting things to get like one little bit of XP. Hope you don't die because then you just wasted like an hour of fighting. Why is this thing just why do they guard everything? And the fucking like the, the non-existence of iframes there, like that's so stupid. You get hit by an enemy like multiple times. Discs. All right. So it was like a billion freaking. What the fuck? Okay, stay far away from those. Where did those other guys come from? It was like, okay, they just spawn out of nothing. It's probably something above us that's like shooting these guys down. Gonna keep spawning if I stand there, aren't they? This is stupid. Can they just shoot through like And get disc out, yeah, pretty much. Fucking hell. I'm already, like, dead. <laughs> Let's go find some stuff, I guess. Let's gate disc out of here. Jeez. Imagine if you didn't have unlimited bullets here, yeah, I know, right? Yeah, do have spiral pack. I don't know. Spiral pack seems. I don't think. I don't think I'm going to be getting in melee range of anything in this game, considering there's like no iframes. Get hit. You, you get hit. They're going to hit you like three, four times in a row, and you're screwed. So pretty much want to stick in. Uh, where do we spawn at the gate desk? Call keeper. No, oh, right here. Heel circle. <clears throat> How do I? I have to go to the uh, the keeper to change it or whatever. Let's 
Yeah. I, I, I'm going to struggle playing this, that's for sure. It seems very... Like, just right off the bat, I mean, they just dump you in and, like, surprise, you're going to die. No online capabilities on this one. I mean, the basic healing thing is 100 coins. 200 for the raised disc. This game has a hard difficulty. God, I wouldn't want to try that. Do I actually equip the stuff? <laughs> Where do you need to go to equip things? It's Theta, Binkkeeper, Digilab. All the way over there. gets good at the end. <laughs> I mean, it, it looks kind of interesting at the beginning. It's like, okay, whatever, it's gonna be a hack and slash, and then I, you get to the first enemies and you just get murdered. It's like, alright. Went from interesting to, like, this is gonna suck. Yeah, the enemies are way too fucking tanky. If the enemies, like, died in one hit or whatever, especially early on, then fine, but Assuming you have to like basically kite the enemies because they're so freaking overpowered there. Digimon. No. Alright, what we got here? Battlehawk, 143 strength, less wisdom, spirit, and speed. Whatever. Shidamon is right. It's only a 20 hour game. Yeah, 20 hour game probably if uh, you don't, you know, die. Yeah, if you're playing four people. <laughs> Digimon X. Digimon Extreme. What these other weapons look like. I right, tend to go through like twenty load screens to. I mean, the fact you had to go to a fucking load screen to save the game, like, why? 
Do they really need to have some fancy background stuff going on so you can save your game? It's like you choose return lobby and then they, they get you to press start. I guess if you have multiple people, then you know you want to make sure everybody's ready, kind of thing. But you need to do that when you're playing solo. Yeah, it definitely has a very MMO feel. Like they really tanky enemies, and you have to basically kite everything, and like it's gonna be like a slow grind. It definitely feels very MMO. So like somebody mentioned it's more MMO than Dot Hack was. And of course, you know, the game is definitely is definitely kind of designed for multiplayer. You can play it single player, but you're gonna have a tough ass time doing it. Yeah, I'm, I'm curious about that because if you had like two or three people whacking on those enemies, I mean, they would die a lot quicker. But one person, yeah, you just hope you don't get fifty freaking shittlemons there. That Death Valley definitely lives up to its name. Yep. Get more enemies. It's kind of like right in front of you. So much damage they take from this. Zero, because they block every fucking hit. Got two shot. More instances. I mean, I'm playing this on a PS2. I don't have another PS2 <laughs> to link up with my PS2. It's bad if you're like health regenerated over time or something, like at least you could take a break between fights, but no, if you don't have healing items, you're fucked. <laughs> yeah, this is all real hardware. PS2, baby. The game looks decent. Considering, just these enemies have like ten times more hit points than they should. I'm almost level two. <laughs> I know, right? You guys just hate me. You guys are all sadists. Is the last area that bad? <clears throat> I 
Right open land, nice. I'm in Ottawa myself. Uh, why do these things have so much health? No way this is better than Nep Nep. <laughs> and, and like the guarding is like so tight. <laughs> level two. Now we're gonna die and go back to level one. <laughs> okay, it's just middle finger. Okay, so it looks like the traps, once they go off, that's it. I'm sure if you played this multiplayer, it'd probably be okay. Single player, it seems to be... it's gonna be a little too rough. God damn it! Shot pistol. It's just surprising, like, like they should have made the single player player experience like better, and then you know made the enemies tougher and there's more enemies and stuff with multiplayer to you know balance it out, but. Single player seems to be way too too tough, especially at the beginning <laughs> for single player. Like it just seems like it's a really rough start. Any sort of aim doesn't help either. It's hard to like, aim correctly in like this weird camera system. Yeah, yeah, the bosses are gonna be a slog, aren't they? It's called Security Hole. Use a gate distance Security Hole. Connects to the emergency gate. Yes, this is the safe place to gate back. Be able to return here without having to restart. Yeah, 16 servers, yeah. Please. The thing that sucks is once you start shooting, you can't... Like, you have to... It shoots in the direction you're moving, so... You can't really aim these shots. You have to, like, move in the direction and hope you're kind of aiming in the right direction. These things don't seem to respawn, at least 
you know, if they do, they're, they respawn very slowly. Number three, you didn't see number two yet. This is Chief Leomon. I can't believe Digimon in this area where our friends attacked us. We'll advance deeper into the areas of the unknown server and investigate the strange occurrence. Let's <clears throat> see what's over here. The, the, the constantly moving camera does not help in terms of, like, getting a bearing of where, you're, where you've been, either. You need to go back and try to fight that boss. There's no map, there's no compass, so... It's gonna be very easy to, to get lost in certain areas, I'm sure. Stop blocking, you stupid thing. <laughs> Grand Blade Alpha. Boston seem to have any range attacks. Well, boss. Like, I'm calling him boss, but... <laughs> it's more like a big dude that we haven't fought yet. I'm sure, I'm sure the aggro range is also, like... Like, they'll keep chasing you till, the, till they die, probably. It wasn't really a boss, it's just... Slightly tougher and a little more experience. Is there like an experience bar in, or in, at all, or next level four hundred and ninety-two? You think they would make that big blue bar at the bottom? I guess that all the characters would show up. I guess. So. Lots of stuff here. Oh, I've got a raised disc. Something is moving this stage. Hooray. I know, right? Schemes ahead of the time. It's not growing despawn range. I don't know if I want to go back up here with these freaking shitomons here. Especially since they have range attacks, which. Technique went up. just a certain number of these, or you just keep spawning forever. Spawn or somewhere you have to get rid of. They do seem to keep spawning, so... Infinite XP. <laughs>
Port number two is Exploration Force number five. We need two ID keys to enter the Goblin Fortress. We have no idea how to obtain them. Try to block those attacks when they. Uh... The guard time is like so t so short. It's like, <laughs> alright, there's the fucking spawners. Where did that cramp? Could have just jumped up here. No. <laughs> alright. I can breathe easy for a little bit. <laughs> oh shucks. I've been grinding for me. This is when you buy every RPG you see in front of me. I mean, I own every RPG past the... the PS1 era, minus the GBA stuff. <laughs> yeah, we should get to level 99 right here. Might be a bit of a slog, but it's probably for the best. It is nice that things don't respawn, at least, so... Once you clear out, you don't have to worry about getting surrounded because something else spawned behind you or something. 999, it got... Yeah, it's. I mean, that's another thing that feels like MMO. Just really long, grinding, very slow level ups. Okay, let's go down that dungeon, I guess. Of course, I played all the original Digimon games. Play the games in chronological order for the most part. Uh, except for the fast forwards, which this one is, but the fast forwards will always be the la the next one in the series that I haven't played. So I would never skip like a I wouldn't go to Final Fantasy 15 before playing Final Fantasy you know 12, for example. I wasn't a big fan of Digimon World games. <laughs> And this one is not going to be breaking the curse, it looks like, because, my god. You know, this could have been fixed by adding difficulty levels, like, have a... Like, this feels like we're playing on, like, the hardest difficulty, you know what I mean? just using guns, but I mean, range just seems to be king in this one. Melee, you're too close to the enemy and you're just going to take damage. Yeah, I hear the modern ones are better. God, so many of them. Oh god, four of them. Not garden time. And after you shoot, you, like it takes you like a second before you can activate guards, so.
And well, Mortal 3 was good until they got you to go back and forth in the same area like 50 times. Like they just it felt like they, they just decided to to maximum give you maximum padding for that game. Open map. Human cave B1. Oh wow, we actually do get a map in the dungeons. Can't stand here and shoot. Yeah, can we do the? We can. It's not not easy to do though. Nah. Nope. That does nothing. This is stupid. Yeah, I probably should be using like melee on these things, especially when there's more than one. Gunman is like solo, but because then they start just shooting you. Mr. J, I am not. This game is brutal. Forty minutes each way, man. This game sounds like it's gonna be rough. Just shot through the walls. <laughs> Board Alpha. Increases and increases my strength by a good amount on that one. And defense. Done. I hope so too. God, why is there so many? It helps if I Survived somehow. Oops. <laughs> I was looking at the chat and like, <laughs> I didn't even notice those just, like zappy things. Oh, the timing, I'm <laughs> not taking a chance. Oh, why did they put so many fucking enemies? Oh god, I'm gonna die. Rip all my HP discs. <laughs> they don't get take damage. It's 
good strategy against these bastards. Wait around the corner and just hit him through the corner. Now, yeah, gonna have to corner camp like crazy. Seems like the exit. This is like hidden traps. Hidden Alright, here's this floor. Yeah, the back speed definitely helps. dungeons are, yeah. <laughs> nope, nip nip lost. Unless it shows up, uh, you know, if it shows up for the next fast forward, maybe we'll play it after uh, Sukumon. Thought one was enough. We'll give you three now. Enjoy. Fucking hell. It's got a security hole thing. Everything's on respawn when you uh, use a security hole thing. Uh, that's a good question. Feels like we should level up by now. I'm pretty sure Dempnep -Dem would have been way better than this. 24. <laughs> it's using when they don't start you at the same spot. <laughs> Yo. I mean, how many bits do we have? 412. Is a stupid bug lock out of some of the endings. Gotta get them all. How many endings is there? <laughs> Digimon Next Order. When's that releasing? Don't care, but I mean, you cared enough to get more than one ending. <laughs> you know, you want to get all the nep nep, nep, nep endings. It's this way, right? No. It's 
really confusing when uh, the, the camera keeps changing directions <laughs> in terms of like where you are right now. You give me a map if you're going to constantly change the camera and not let me adjust it myself. Kiss the butt hates you now. Is the butt still working? Maybe the butt just had a hiccup. <laughs> <clears throat> Let's see. Oops. Should still be on. Does the next five command work? Let's make sure the bot's working <laughs> at all. Yeah, the next five at least works. There you go. <laughs> I like this axe. Sword's pretty good though. Rand blade. Bash skill. Bash skill 210. Wait, I need like 210 bash skill to use this? That's, that's a really high amount of bash skill. End game weapon or something at 210 bash skill. Considering my like skill with like shot and stuff is three right now. Sells for. Yeah, the bot was probably just having a brain fart. Happens every once in a while. Probably the Google Google Apps thing. I mean, it doesn't really matter if it's considering you can't actually use them. <laughs> it's like, here's a level 99 weapon. It's like, alright, thanks. <laughs> it's only worth 275, too. I mean, <laughs> worth that much. for weapon units here. Why is there more than one? Like, just have one make it viable like six times or something. I don't know. <clears throat> I should probably keep... I mean, since... I don't, I don't know if, he, if this one gets a, a, an advantage with Bash. Might be a good idea to get... to keep leveling up Bash. And they give you like a million of these freaking grand blades. All right, they're they're l more common than I thought. <laughs> Still, two hundred and ten. That just seems like like how much do I need to grind to get to two hundred and ten? Is this like just the next tier of weapon? Like, am I gonna have to like play for like ten hours grinding to get enough to to use the second weapon in the game? Seems I have a decent amount of strength, but jeez. Yeah, but six? <laughs> you have four people max. I mean, I guess you could have multiple friends and they buy shit and just just have the, the, the weapon shop get more inventory. <laughs> it just seems like way too many. Alright, let's 
buy this and place the axe or something. Okay, go to the other place. Like, why not just have the ability of equipping stuff like in this area? Like, why do you have to literally go to this other guy to equip your items? Like, just make it if you're if you're in the home base, you can switch your items. You know what I mean? Like, no, you gotta you gotta zone to this other area to have your dude equip your equipment. <laughs> you can't do it at the merchant or something. Man, this game's just so badly designed in every fucking way. And they don't even put them in the central location, they put them off in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> I know, right? Who would have thunk? Loading times, too, is just. Ugh. Every time you do something in the home server, you gotta, like, load. Oh, yeah, I mean, a developer. That's always the problem with, like, if you're, like, an indie developer and you play your game constantly and you don't get any feedback from anybody else. Your game's. Probably gonna be either too hard or just y you need like some you need some outside input. The current blade in there for now. Alright, do we have enough money to even buy, uh, you know, let's pick up that... Uh, these I can't even, like, <laughs> sell. I guess I can destroy them. Let's get this battle hawk. That's another thing that's awkward too, like, why do you have to like, like exchange weapon unit and you gotta like choose the location exchange with, I mean, just have equipped. <laughs> I, why would I ever want to switch these two? I can't switch in battle anyways, I have to go to the screen, like just say, equip this one. No, you gotta exchange it with this one. <laughs> like, like, what is this UI? UI in this game is just a big question mark. Like the golden team, you're the programmer? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the World Series, I mean, it's always a confusing thing for any any fans of the series. If they're a fan of one game, they and they want something else like something else similar to that game, they're not gonna get it. <laughs> you like Digimon Worlds 1? Nope, you're not gonna get that for Digimon 2, 3, or 4. Like, oh, you tried Digimon World 2, you want more of that? Nope. Now we're going to a classic JRPG. Oh, you like classic JRPG Digimon? Nope. Now we're going to have this this hard as balls gauntlet like hack and slash game. Like it's they just hate their players. Simple as that.
Oh well, armor's expensive. It's gonna buy armor, but uh nope. <laughs> Can't afford that yet. <clears throat> Yeah, pretty much, right? What are you guys show? Salt Ram. Reverse damage to HP. Yeah, th those would be really nice to have. Yeah. I mean, weapons that we can convert damage to HP and MP. You get to a point where I can have weapons that have slots and can buy those. Let's buy more of these, I guess. What a shame. Well, we don't have a fucking clue, and neither will you. Pretty much. We'll say the DS ones are okay, but we'll see. Still a ways away for the DS unless it shows up for a fast forward or something. Right here. Go save first. <laughs> Let's not go in until we save. And of course, we got to zone to the next area. Couldn't put a save person right here in the central area where you go to different zones and everything. That'd be too easy. So you gotta have like four load screens. You gotta load to get into the zone with the save guy. You gotta load to get into the save. You gotta load to get back into the uh, this to, to this area, and then we gotta load back to get in the central hub. Man. Survive, yeah. I mean, it has a nice look to it, from what I've seen of it. on the original console. Yeah, all the PS2 stuff is on original console with original software. It's in, uh, PS2 with a uh, RetroTank 5X uh, upscaler. Original Suffering, yeah. No save states here. <laughs> yeah, turbo button. Yeah, that would help. <laughs> My games actually got loaded from the disc. I mean, this is this is just really bad optimization. There's no way this entire hub needs to be like in multiple load areas. I mean, it looks like just a whole bunch of reused assets. Like everything looks the same. So they could easily optimize this to make it fit in one area without having any load screens. But nope.
Yeah, they probably did. <laughs> it's like, screw it, it's good enough. Should we balance it? Nah, that's fine. Because, you know, katanas are really good at bashing things. Bash it with your slicing edge. Let's see, what happened to my map? But I guess we did go to a new area in this. Block every once in a while, like automatically. Must be like my armor or something. You missed 11,000 hours, you did! What's up, Bowser? Thank you, Zero Dine! Thanks for the cheer! Wow, 13 bits in a chest. <laughs> totally worth that chest. Ah! Surrounded is bad. Spawn after a certain amount of time. Which sucks. This game it definitely is a dookie. So many dookies. So the only enemy we're gonna fight from here on out is these. Fucking hell. They just give you like a million freaking enemies at once. Best part of this. From that other room I missed. It gets better. It get really good once we hit the credits. That'd be the best part of the game. Wow. Chest with nothing. Hearts 2? I've already played the first Kingdom Hearts. Of course, I played the HD versions for those. <laughs> You're having fun? I'm sure you are. Now I know why chat wanted this. Ugh. I mean, it looked like it was to be, like, okay at, at the beginning. It's like, oh, this looks like a decent style. I don't know why people are giving such a bad rap. Now I know. 
by the boss, aren't we? Blossom on. For sharp digital tendrils. Alright, let me... This one from range. Okay. something. <laughs> oh, fuck. How much damage did we just take there? Jesus. Don't get hit by this thing. He's like a monkey. Which game first? Is that Kingdom Hearts 2 or that uh, other Kingdom Hearts game there, whatever the hell it's called? Yeah, the music in this isn't too bad. I mean, graphically it looks okay too. It's just the, the gameplay, the difficulty, like, this game is way too imbalanced. Like, they, they did a horrible job balancing this game. Chain of Memories, yeah. Blossom ID. That's one ID. Another one to go. DS one. Or E chain, yeah. Hey, King Dweeb, how's it going? Did we level up? We did level up. Oh yeah. Playing scheme, well, not, not in one shot, but... <laughs> Definitely going to be playing this game until it's beaten. So before we move on to the next one. This game sucks so far. Horrible. Alright, what do we got for armor? We got two different armor boards that we just picked up. Element core, seems to be a lot of resistances. And grave core seems to have a little bit of speed. We might as well do the element core. Oh, this one increases HP max, okay. I wasn't even looking at the HP until I saw the description. Um. Yeah. I mean, it's like we have regenerating HP, so does increasing our HP help that much? I guess we'd just take less damage overall. Mm. Screw it. Of course, it doesn't give, you, give us HP. You shadow jet? Yeah, the enemy's blocking is kind of annoying. As if this game is definitely definitely feels like it's made for multiplayer. So you can kind of attack from multiple directions, that kind of stuff. Single player it doesn't feel feel like it's well balanced for single player.
we're back here. Yeah, apparently. <clears throat> It's like, oh, how's the difficulty? Oh, it's fine. Difficulty is just right. Bone blade. 400. Like, what does with these, like, insanely, like, high, like, slash, skill slash requirement? <laughs> like, what the fuck? Like, what's, what's our current technique levels here? Like, three. <laughs> like,. How, you, wh how how long does it take to get to 450 slash? This this feels like an end game weapon in terms of the slash requirement. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe digivolving will uh, increase that by a significant amount or something. That would make sense. No way in hell we're naturally getting that that uh, level. Those off. Drop off our bits. We are. Oops. Rich, 170 bits to my name. It's like trying to solo a wild dungeon. Yeah, pretty much. It's all about just like hiding some enemies slowly but surely. Definitely have to use the terrain to your advantage. Human crisis. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's no Sacred Frontier, but man. It, it feels like it could be a, an okay game, but they just crank up the difficulty way too high. Or rather, they, they, they adjusted the difficulty to be good for, for multiplayer, but not good for single player. So that's that's the the big problem. Like this could have been a no, like a pretty good game. It feels very Gauntlet like, the Gauntlet Legends like. So they could have easily made this as like from a like made this a fantastic game, but no, they decided just to just crank up the difficulty for no apparent reason. It's got interesting ideas. It's just <laughs> it's confusing. Like, uh, like I don't like you can't see which ones are which. I must just stick with one, I guess. Okay, I guess once you click on it, but it doesn't tell you the time, so you pretty much have to know which one you used last. <laughs> I like making multiple slave slots, but it's kind of hard when the game doesn't make it easy to do so. Unless I level up every time I uh, I save, which. Kind of felt like a fancy star, yeah, fancy star online kind of thing. Yeah, I believe that. <laughs> like, like this would probably be fun with like with three friends or something, but how often are you gonna get multiple friends together to play this game, right? Especially if you get like uh you know, dudes with, like, healing and, you know, actual abilities to help out in, in battle. And you get, you know, MP reviving things and, I don't know. Well, you know, if you, if you strong arm, you know, your, your, your little, little, uh, brother and sister <laughs> to play with here or something. 
Yeah. The whole weapon thing is kind of weird in Digimon, that's for sure. I mean, kids, obviously. <laughs> you know what kids like? They like weapons. And they like Digimon. Yeah, get them to come over and play this game. Yeah, no. It's a good way of losing friends. Back at the entrance. Hooray! Time to go through the entire dungeon again. Take some more HP discs. Battlehawk Alpha. The other charge barely does any extra damage either. Like, it's, it's useless against enemies. If it did, like, I don't know, t like, double damage or something might be worth it, but... Yeah. I mean, it's fast enough. Feels like it's, it's worth using. God, the no iframes thing is stupid. No, I beat the dungeon boss. Definitely used range. Okay, it looks like once you destroy these things, they're, they stay dead forever. There's definitely some persistence. I knew too. And they're giving me a lot of shit. <laughs> but he was dead. <laughs> Wasn't quite dead yet. died yet since I uh, died here. I guess I could use Raze here, but what's the point? <laughs> it was too early on where that barely made a difference. fall down and you think they're dead and then they get back up. <laughs> Mini games, that's what you need. That's what this game needed more of. Mini games. Oh. Disc. territory. 
Abyss of Grief. <laughs> what a name. So much loading. <clears throat> Are we loading yet? We're loading the loading screen. Ogremon. Humble whack. An ogre looking Digimon who's just way too fast. <laughs> I'm not going that way. go that way, aren't we, at some point. Should we put gaps between these barrels? Nah. Get like, get like, that, I don't know if there'd be any possibility of jumping over those barrels. Nineteen whole bits. Whack, 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 whack. I'm mean, massacring this button. Should we pull out the turbo controller so I don't have to like mass mash the uh, X button so often? If they actually gave you other things to do in combat that were actually useful. Yeah, my thumb's gonna... Probably gonna pull out the trouble <laughs> for the next stream. Yeah. Attacks are literally just going through them there. <laughs> Pretty much. This constant camera changing is really good at just confusing the shit out of, out of you. <laughs> In terms of get, like losing and like where the, where you are relative to everything else. I mean, it's a pretty linear path and all that, but especially things not respawning.
think we're back here. So that was the other path I could have taken. So let's go back to home base there and heal up. Yeah, they're completely different. Oops. Accidentally used my healing item. <laughs> Never mind then. Yeah, triangle is like emergency heal, so I'll just use like their strongest healing item automatically. Oh well. is up to 7 now. How much do we need? Like 450 or something for the next item? Or 200 and something? God. Digimon just dying out of nowhere this is the most bullshit thing in that game. Like, making it so your Digimon can die is just... Like, not, not die in battle. Like, just literally just drop dead is just horrible design. Okay, I love when my attack literally goes through the enemy. Hitboxes, what are those? Like, so many times, like, my, my sword is going through the enemy and he's, he's not blocking or anything. It's just literally just going through him. Boxes are just a suggestion, I guess. Power metal alpha. Strength points up thirty percent. Yeah. I one level. I wonder, do we get a free heal when we level up? Because we're about to find out. <laughs> yeah, the worst is when you have an enemy down to one hit point. I love how the enemies have freaking iframes, but we don't. <laughs> Okay, so you get a free... Uh, sometimes, I don't know, it just seems like it just goes through them way too often. Hmm. Let's switch somewhere. Y'all. Okay, this is not a good angle to. Everything going through the enemies. 
And one of the problems with uh, some games sometimes is they, they do get some like weird like memory leak issues. Where the longer you play them, the, you get some weird shit happening that shouldn't be happening. Because I don't remember this happening earlier on where like my half my hits were just going through. Seven Pirates H. <laughs> H stands for hyper. Yeah, that's it. Hyper. <laughs> Not get banned. Well, the game's rated M. It's fine for Twitch. Sore. <laughs> it's mashing the button. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> and it causes a following. Yeah, that's that's why there'd be even more eyes on him than on me. Like with, with any sort of, like, any games that have some sort of sexual content or whatever, as long as you're not concentrating on that content, you just get through it and then you're done. It's, it's perfectly loud. You play God of War and you get to, like, the part where, you know, you're basically going at it there. As long as you don't play that multiple times, you're, you're probably okay. But, of course, any games that are specifically like you know you can't play like any hentai games anything that's rated adults only or you know anything that's obvious right but usually rated m is fine rated m games are okay as long as it's not a strong you know concentration on the sexual themes and as far as i'm aware of that, i don't think those games even have nudity it's probably just uh And service stuff, but right to hell, yeah. Oops. Keep that menu open. Just piece of uh, strong healing. Damn, why is like half the hits going through? I'm gonna try next time I hit the uh, the town. I'm gonna try re setting the console. I'm wondering if that's. It seems to be way too often that's happening. I'm just like whiffing through the enemy. These guys just respawn. Criminal Girls is on it, but I, I, I'm assuming the PSP remake is probably safe. I mean, I I checked to see if it is, is actually like videos still up on, on Twitch from like years ago of people streaming that game, highlighting it, and they're still on there, so I'm assuming it's fine. Yeah, Second Life is, yeah. <laughs> Any of those like online kind of Ones where you have user created content, there. There's definitely a lot of NSW stuff. Same thing with like, uh, it's that uh, VR simulator, the VR online stuff. Yeah. Yeah, second, second Life definitely got bad later on for sure. Yeah, VR chat. Any of those things where you could just encounter that stuff without trying, you know? It's not like you have to purposely, like, go looking for it. It's just going to be, like, there.
Yeah, those things never die. Good shot. Expensive bodies of the current gen. Oh, yeah. Yeah, when they duck down or whatever, when they squat down, they're basically invincible. But even most of the time, like, I just whip through them when they're, they're normally attackable. Deal. Need deal. Alright, we're out of MP stuff, so. We just get two techs up in a row. <laughs> Maybe 250 or whatever is more feasible than I thought. Six bash now, so yeah. This seems to be going up relatively quick. Alright, let's go through the security hole. We don't go. Starting to be tolerable. Well, I mean, at least we're not dying in like in like one hit. Yeah, they should, they should be like a save dude right here and like a digi digi whatever the hell they call them. There, dude that lets you like switch your equipment right there. But no, be too easy. At least the music sucks, though. No. I don't know, the music's okay. But yeah, more repair, more uh, variety would always be good. I'm sure I'm not going to be saying that in like 50 hours from now. But I hope this game isn't a 50 hour game. Yeah, this one's very elevator music chill. <laughs> right, let's go see what we got here. All this new crap. Digivolve at all? No. Alright, 
your new weapons. Dino tooth, a dagger. More of the same stuff. We got a dino tooth beta. Got stab skill 30. I'm not gonna level up my stab skill. <clears throat> be nice to find a Kamiki Kamikiri Maru beta then. That's all that crap. Armor, what we got? Sacra core. We get more MP. Defense is lower, we get more wisdom, so it's definitely more like magic based. And if I have more magic, right now we have like one spell. Less strength, more armor, more HP. Lose a lot of speed, though. Get the strength. Best offense is a good offense. Or whatever, base defense. <laughs> Best defense is a good offense. Yeah, completely different game, so... From, from what I can tell... How's it going, Sunfall? From what I can tell, the stories are completely separate, so... Are completely different, at least. I mean, they're gonna meet up at some point, I'm sure, but. Pink Keeper. Let's keep. Gonna sell all this crap. Can <clears throat> we keep this? Nah. nah. Let's keep an armor board. Cypher core. Our metal. If we find something that. Uh... I think. It, I don't think we have anything that has a mud or something, right? Yeah. Oh. Okay, so you can get. So you can get. Uh, Variations that actually have mods, even though they're exactly the same in terms of, like, on the tin. This one has a mod, this one doesn't. Uh, any of these... Kamikiri Maru's up? Nice. This one has a mod. Very good. Switch to that. Ayo! We got Buckeye 2 and we got Lunar Knights. another merchant dude that puts mods on or something. Did I actually... Did, did swamp equipment, right? <laughs> I guess it's the exact same thing, just with the mod. Yeah, it Okay, what about armor? Do I have any armor that... Just the armor slot has mods. No. The one I threw in the bank might have had, but... map again because the game doesn't just throw a map in game. 
Uh, what's the dude that lets us attach? Ship shop, Razor, Digital Lab Attendant, Peacekeeper. Junk shop. Not on the map. <clears throat> I'm sure there was somebody that hatches those mods though. Yeah, the uh, the list uh, I usually updated in like batches, like usually once a month. So I think I think I updated like shortly before that came out. So it'll it'll show up on the next update. Not yet, no. New games I'll usually wait a bit. Not that that game's probably gonna drop in price too much. It's not maybe. Okay, there we go. Just mainly at it, I guess. Uh, did I put that in the bank? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I might as well pick one up now, right? Maybe might go down by like five bucks or something. <laughs> it goes down at all. Our metal. And these other things have cores? No. Just destroy these. I wonder how how much stuff I can throw in the bank. Obviously some sort of limit. The big question is once I throw a mod into something, is it going permanent? Probably. There was a remove option, right? Yeah, so... Looks like you can remove it afterwards. Alright. Sell our junk. Buy some more health chips since we're out of them. Keep in PS2 chain of memories, yeah. Gotta play them all. their stock. They don't seem to sell anything with mods. These are all identical. the ones that have mods because they're significantly more expensive than the base version. But they really need to have another like, <laughs> are you sure you want to say sell this? Are you sure you want to sell this? Are you sure you want to sell this? Like, there, I got plenty of bits, anyways. Stock up on healing items. Don't think there's anything here that would be an upgrade. Oh, this one has a mod. Yeah, they, did, they do sell, I guess this one had a mod too, right? Hmm. 
can get a brave core with a mod. 1700. Beast Lord. Bring spirit down and strength up. Beast Lord. Meteor. For the price, I mean, I guess the speed is uh, pretty low. What does the speed do exactly? He said, put out a disaster board for him. Fish version is $30, PS4 is $130, yeah. Well, the most expensive game on the PS4 uh, is uh, Blue Reflection, isn't that Nisa? Something? But I think they, they put out like a reprint fairly recently, but sold out like instantly. Speed. Increases accuracy of weapon units. Also, maybe that's why we're like whiffing, because our speed was... Increases ability to evade enemy attacks. That's probably blocking. But I do notice that uh, when the enemy hits me, it, like every once in a while, I block automatically, kind of thing. So probably a good idea to keep speed up. <laughs> we want lots of speed. Well, that's what the manual is for. Why speak to a digit elf when you get a manual? the manual if you want. Koei Tecmo? Okay. <laughs> Here's just 20 bucks. Yeah, what, what are they going for now? Like a couple hundred bucks? Although I don't know if the price, since they have that, that fairly limited reprint there, I wonder if the price has dropped at all. Probably not. This is in pretty limited reprint. Hey, Core. Yep, Digimon. It's horrible. It's like, hey, the game wants to murder you really hard. Question is, I want to buy that armor that has the mod. I mean, <clears throat> it'd be nice to buy something like this, something that heals me, converts its damage to HP. That might be worth it, actually, instead of the that strength thing that we got right now. All these power metals, I'm assuming this adds like an elemental thing, right? So probably good to have, because the manual did mention that there's uh, certain certain areas where you need to like use a specific element to, to like break through a barrier. They might need to use fire to get through like a green barrier or something like that. So probably good to have these, to keep these around when we need to do that. Because we already have ice with our ability. And we have fire now, so we'll need like lightning and darkness at some point. Speed, spirit, and wisdom. So we can add more speed on armor. But I think it might be better just to get something like this here. So let's... Being able to heal without having to use uh, healing things probably worth it unless it's like 1 HP or something stupid, but... Screw it. Combine it. Defense ROM. Equip with A, B only. Defense rate up. I 
I switch to, which is nice. So, I guess I'm assuming I can do it in the middle of uh, the dungeon. Contemporary <laughs> Jeffrey Eagles persona, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, it got a reprint. It was pretty limited reprint, but I I'm assuming that probably helped the prices, like lower the prices a little bit, but probably still very hard to get, and it's not like they've reprinted a big enough quantity to make it, you know, affordable. And I was definitely going for like over 200 bucks, but now it's probably dropped significantly because of that reprint. Here. Console, PS4, line. It's now. Yeah, Telly Alua Alu actually went up. Holy shit, 178 bucks now. Yeah, Blue Fraction's down to 146 now. That went down a little bit. It used to be the most expensive. I didn't know. I didn't realize the Italia Lalua went up in price. No. Well, so not counting special editions, Lalua is the most expensive, like PS4, like standard edition RPG. Yeah, it'd be interesting to try it out. Our shows over the past four. I mean, there is two games in the Blue Reflection series, so it's double the chance for it to show up. Alright, so with the rest of my money, do we even have any money after that? Here we go, 511, so let's buy five healing chips. So I'm gonna, well, I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna need them anymore. I mean, it's good to have at least one, probably, but let's, uh,. Save and then go back and see how much this actually heals. Can like I can I outdo damage in, in generally, or is it gonna be like one hit or one HP per hit? And steam. Yeah, I don't know why it goes for such a high price. Just collection mark, collector market, I guess. Because there's other ways of buying it. I mean, those games are all available digitally, as far as I'm aware. And it's like you get, you know, you don't get anything special. You literally just get the disc nowadays. You don't get, like, a manual. I can see special editions going for a higher price because you get those extra goodies, but disc-only stuff nowadays is, like... <laughs> it's just limited quantities, therefore goes high, high stupid prices. Social links are just flat out better than others. I mean, the story even actually be good. But you don't do the social links for the for the benefits. You want friends with benefits? I should count how many like prompts there are to save. It's like. One, two, three, four, five, like six prompts to save the game. Most games, you like, that's not even counting going into the save <laughs> itself. Add another, like, two prompts there. Yeah, Switch games in general, because of, you know, the limited quantity of cards made. You now, like, PS4, PS5, where they just print like a bajillion discs and and log is gone yeah pretty much right
Yeah, it's kind of unfortunate. You want a good story? Well, you're not getting good stuff. <laughs> Your reward for the story, or for the, the good story thing, was the story. God, so many loading screens. Too much this heals for. Better not be like a shitty thing, like one hit point per hit. Although, I mean, that would still help. Am I even healing? Do you have to kill the enemy to heal up? No, that was, that was X Theta. And trip for that thing that heals up, right? What the fuck? <laughs> Inverse damage to HP. Like, what the fuck? Threshold, of course, there is. It's probably like a certain percentage, and then maybe it's like 1% of the damage you do. Uh, well, I'm sure we'll use that at some point. Two thousand bucks not well spent. I guess I gotta go get some more uh, healing, healing things then. Yeah, this, this game feels like it's going to be... Uh, that's a good amount of damage, though. God damn it. Good thing we saved for coming in here. It's ridiculous. Actually, let's do a reset. Actually, let's do a hard reset on the console. I'm wondering if, like, the, the constant missing is due to, like, some sort of weird, like, memory leak or whatever. Just a full reset. Because I, I don't remember that happening earlier on. Even when I first met the Sukumon, now it just seems like half my tanks just go right through them. It's not like they block, they just literally just don't connect. Same after the reboot. I've definitely played some games where that <laughs> that happens. Like I remember Evergrace was like that. There's literally a boss I could not do damage to. Like he was invulnerable. This is some weird memory leak. And when I when I reboot the console at some point, and the boss like I, I could hit him, I can do damage to him. So there's <laughs> it's definitely a thing that happens with, with these games. Yeah, you, you would think, like, oh, consoles, memory leaks, that's a thing? Yeah. <laughs> Definitely is. This is the right one, right? Yeah, interesting.
Yeah, I mean, I, I doubt it's it's probably something else. Like maybe it's this whole speed stand thing, but. Yeah, I imagine using charge attacks so you don't have to fight the stuff. <laughs> this is the better way of doing it. But... I want XP, I need to grind. Seriously? If you reload, you lose your emergency gate? Uh, of course you do. It doesn't save the world, it just saves your Digimon. Well, I guess we're walking back. Bloodborne has memory leak. Like your from soft game. What exactly when Sony released the sleep mode for PS4? So people stop turning off Bloodborne. <laughs> yeah, that's always fun. Yeah, when when they go down, man. Literally just like resets the entire area. <laughs> Wait, did, does it reset? Like, do we still have like the the ID and shit like that? I'm assuming we still have the ID because it was a key item, right? I'm assuming we don't have to go through the first dungeon. Okay, at least there's that. <laughs> we have to go all the way to the second dungeon and redo the whole second dungeon. frames thing is so stupid. You get between two dudes and you're just gonna to get double team there. Need the boss AI stop. Wow. Set. Yeah, well, I mean, it's not even it's not even Digimon, really. I mean, how often do Digimon use weapons? You know what I mean? <laughs> Remember all the Digimon games where your Digimon, you equip your Digimon with a sword and guns and stuff? <laughs> Luckily the quote bot is up. It's off for now. Having a fun time? I wouldn't say a fun time. Especially since reloading there kind of put me back a bit. I didn't, I didn't consider reloading with just, like, saving just saves the Digimon, not the actual world state. I don't want to reload. Some HP discs, though. Totally good. 
I mean, this, this definitely feels like kind of a gauntlet style game, so I could see this maybe originally they, they were making like a kind of a gauntlet Legends 2 or something, and then they just ended up turning this to a Digimon game. Just like Gauntlet Legends, you know, it's designed for multiplayer. It's got that very kind of Gauntlet Legends style kind of world uh, navigation. There's no respawn spots or something like you would normally get in Gauntlet. Just enemies are too tanky. Cause they didn't, I guess maybe when they took away the respawn spots, they just made the enemies super tanky instead. Yeah, I can see this being fun with multiplayer, right? Yeah. A long time to get back. Ready for next order? Next order release on Switch yet? I don't know, next order came came like out a while ago for PS4, but I guess the other uh, systems didn't release it yet. Well, that's, that's exactly it. Like they they didn't make the game balanced. I never went here. Why is there no fucking iframes in this? Fucking hell. <laughs> Same barrel hits you like five times. Like, come on, game. So bullshit. Alright, screw that. I'm reloading. Like, come on, like, g give you, like, at least a, like, a half a second iframe, not just, like, a quick flash, and then you're, oh, you're vulnerable again. Well, that barrel that just knocked you back? Yeah, guess what's in your face again? Factory Seal Digimon World 4 for GameCube, 800 bucks. Buy it and burn it. I imagine the uh, GameCube one looks a little better, but it probably plays just as bad. Of course it's the best version. Yeah, this, this game is definitely extra brutal. Yeah, the faster loads would definitely help. I, mean, I should have picked up that copy, but, you know, the majority of my uh, RPG collection is on Sony systems. That's where most of the RPGs end up, especially in these generations. So, I was... I got the, uh, the... the Sony version first over the other versions, so... Find some healing items. Yeah, no, th this one, especially for a Digimon game, I mean, this is a game that's probably aimed towards kids. This Digimon is mainly aimed towards kids. And, like, the difficulty seems way too hard. Like, absolutely, like, very unbalanced. Those are faster on the Wii than the Xbox. Which Xbox? 360? Because, I mean, that's not a surprise. The Wii's in, like, lower resolution. You don't need to load as much data.
Fortress difficulty, yeah. Yeah, it seems like all the Digimon World games weren't exactly easy. I don't know what the hell audience they were trying to aim for. New OG Xbox. Yeah, it's kind of weird considering all Xboxes had a hard drive. But of course, the game doesn't take advantage of the hard drive. And seeing how bad it seems to be optimized for the PS2, that would require extra programming. Terrorist and a lot of technical stuff. Yeah, but I mean, like, teenagers at the absolute most. Like, this that this definitely isn't aimed for adults. I'm sure t like teens could probably handle difficulty, but it just does feels way too way too skewed. And again, it the game's definitely definitely feels like it's it's difficulty is balanced for multiplayer, but that's one of the, that's one of the first things you do for any sort of games with multiple players is skew the difficulty so that if you're playing single player, make it difficult for a single player, but don't make it difficult where you have to have multiple players, you know what I mean? Like, balance it. Don't make the enemies take 50 freaking hits at the beginning of the game. <laughs> Sucks when they don't like plan for that kind of stuff. I mean, it's clear when they they play tested this. They probably play tested in groups with multiple people, so they didn't really play test single player. They, they thought like, hey, you know, this is fine. It's not necessarily the damage output coming to the enemies, it's just the fact that they're so tanky. Like, those goblins should take two hits max to take out, not like 50 hits. Especially for the first enemy in the game that you run into, like, literally the first enemy. <laughs> and I'm level 4 with, like, some, some, some better gear than we start off with anyways, and it still takes, like, three or four hits to kill these things. top-down puzzle game. That's true. Digimon World puzzle game. I totally play that. Yeah, the enemies are immune to traps. That's kind of stupid, too. A lot of HP disc alphas. <laughs> Time to rebuy them. The game's like, all right, here you go. If you want some of these? We'll give you tons of these.
Digimon crossword. It's just all Digimon names. Yeah, I hate how the charger tank doesn't do extra damage. Do at least double damage, considering it takes like three seconds to charge up or whatever. <laughs> Digimon World Sudoku. Oh god, yeah. I mean, I used the friggin' guide for Digimon World 1 at the Digivolve, and that didn't help. <laughs> Still friggin' died of old age before I could even Digivolve. The game just sucks. Sokobahan, yeah. Good old slide block. Ice, ice block puzzles. We want to see what's up here, but man, this place is deadly. Better be worth it. Like for a few bits. Use like a shortcut or something. Hmm. Strange. probably do. Let's just not find out. Thing close to that thing. guys I don't get iframes but the enemy gets tons of iframes ow Okay. 
block this one and click. This music is inappropriate. This is totally epic battle music. Yeah, that X data, I forgot. Oh, I guess we died last time when we did battle. Try that out. Uh, what direction did I come from? <laughs> Camera changed direction, so I don't know. That's fine. Doesn't it just does what the what the fuck it wants to do. <laughs> exploration report number four. Report the investigation results for exploration force number three. This is the new Nume Nume River. You can pass here unless you have the boat key, of course. You don't have one, head back. And we're gonna die platforming on the way back, aren't we? I'm assuming that boss stays dead now that we beat him. Star Stardew Valley is supposed to be relaxing. God damn it. Oh, alright. Well, we respawn with 1, H 1 HP. I guess that's the, the point of this thing. Which we could have just destroyed the fucking barrels from this side. I mean, it's better than just killing you outright, so I'll take it. Our value ever got like a physical release that's not like limited run games or something. A limited release thing. I know there's like an RPG element stuff, but it doesn't have an actual like non limited release, so. But I'm pretty sure it was limited, like limited run games or something. It wasn't like a retail release. I don't do limited run stuff. Anything that's limited. Yep. Demi Kid games are different stories for each game, so. We'll play both. Level up! Nice. Sure was like a limited quantity thing. Either way, it's a farming sim with some RPG elements. Fully totally different. No, for the Pokemon games I play one per generation. There's not enough differences between the different Pokemon games, different versions. I mean, like stuff like Yellow, which. Obviously, I added like a couple, couple more story modes, but the actual base game is exactly the same. But the Demi Kid games, yeah, those are like, from what I could tell, they're basically completely different games, so. Can I get outside of his hitbox? Thing? even do. Hmm. 
Yeah, exactly. It's just like, hey, now Pikachu follows you around outside of his Pokeball. Different Pokemon. It's just like, I mean, the, the closer, closer comparison would be stuff like the Fire Emblem Fates games. So this means there are like different stories, different missions and all that stuff. Shittoman. Nope, Revelations is digital only unless you buy the special edition, which is a special edition limited quantities, so. Revelations is not available physically in any retail way, so. It doesn't count to me. It doesn't fit my criteria. Oh yeah, I might make an exception when I get to it. I mean, by the time I get to it, uh, obviously the stores will be closed, but, you know, I got ways of getting it on there. But technically it doesn't count. <laughs> if you of one of those things after I play both of them, then I might throw it on there just as, like, an extra. Copy of Demon Throttle. What is Demon Throttle? I'm curious how much damage I took. Let's see if I can jump over it. Answer if they're both is not too much. And no. seem to be like whipping through them now so I think there was some sort of memory leak thing because other than the fact other than when they're like actually like ducking down I, I seem to be hitting them every time it's not just going through their their body unless of course they have iframes because of course the enemies have iframes we don't but enemies definitely do
Hey, Martin. <clears throat> How's it going? Happy Saturday. I didn't even notice. <laughs> you raided me, Cor. I'm sorry. I missed the raid. I was too busy, like, not dying. I gotta mark you anyways. You know, it's, like, super late. <laughs> oh, I missed it, but I was, like, in the middle of dying. Bring some wizardry guy then. Nice. Waifu Labyrinth too. It's all waifus. I mean, I guess at that point they just they just double down the whole waifu thing with, with wizardry, right? <laughs> Kinky emotes. Of course. It's called Beyond the Labyrinth. It was fun. Seems in, sounds interesting. Yeah, it's probably better than the original Wizardry games. Be interesting to play if they ever localize those. <laughs> Which they never will, of course. It'd be funny if all of a sudden they started with... Oh, maybe with the Etrian Odyssey remasters or whatever. <laughs> maybe they'd be like, hey, maybe we should bring all these Wizardry-like games out. Because they're popular now, you yeah, know. For sure, if you're not a sneeze, gonna have a very limited uh, audience. Why Food Labyrinth 2 sold like 7 million copies? I mean, is it a surprise? Mighty Talon Alpha. Inventory limit, I wonder, because we're filling our inventory pretty damn fast at this rate. I don't want to, like, run out of room and have to start destroying stuff. Skill crush skill. Oh, well, this one has three mods. Man, too bad we don't use daggers. That's, that's crazy. Three mods. Might start using daggers just for that. about to hit a, uh, a uh, warp point anyways. And... Wizardry got in 6 and 7 against Steam users. Yeah, I guess, I guess if there's going to be any sort of localization, it's going to be in on Steam, so that makes sense. You're not going to see that on consoles, especially not physically. Yeah, I think I think even with those remasters, I'm gonna end up playing just the uh, the original ones because of the the keyboard. I imagine daggers are probably very shitty range. <laughs> probably not worth it, even with the uh, three mods on it. Lot of raised discs, which isn't too useful if you need to run back to your corpse. It's been like an hour to get back to where you died. Again, it seems to be geared towards multiplayer. It's like, oh, you're gonna be raising your buddies. Oh, you're solo? Well, too bad. You gotta run back to your corpse. <laughs> Physical copy veteran. Origins have been nice. Well, considering uh, you get three games, and I mean, the, the, the physical copy cost of those three games is way over $80. It's definitely a good value proposition. But again, it's very niche, so I can't see. It's selling very well. Oh, 
Oops. Shit. That, that item menu should, like, close as soon as you use an item. Just use, like, two healing things. I don't accept it. We're not using it's the the blunt, right? Three hundred blunt skill. Oh, they're, they're selling separately? Oh, I thought it'd be a collection. Wow. Well, okay, yeah, maybe not. <laughs> maybe not a full price. Yikes. I thought, it was, I thought it was a collection of all three games. For like a full price thing. Yeah, that's pretty bullshit. I mean, maybe... Probably will at some point. I'm sure they'll, they'll probably have a physical release of all three for... Okay, probably not. <laughs> oh well. I got the three. I got the DS ones. I'm good. All of your Odyssey. Yeah, I was gonna say. I thought, I thought there was a collection. How much is the collection then? If they're gonna sell the uh, individual ones for for, for for like full price. Maybe they'll have a uh, physical release in Asia. They often do that. With, like, English localization. But yeah, for, like, imported from Asia. I don't know, if it's 80 bucks for all three, I mean, that's a good deal. I feel like those Atelier games, the, the Atelier trilogies, there they sell on Switch. Yeah, I mean, it, it would, you would have to know what you're getting into. <laughs> most likely, most people weren't sure if they'd like it or not. Probably won't be picking up all three, but. But I mean, if you're. If you think you're even interested in one, you're probably going to pick up all three, because, you know, playing the other two at some point, you know about it and you just never picked it up because, you know, you didn't have a DS or you had a DS, but, you know, you don't want to spend like a thousand bucks for the... Well, it's not that expensive, but it's still not cheap for the DS versions. Bucks in Steam. It's $80 too. It'll drop in price. Very likely. For golden to five bucks, yeah. <clears throat> It'll definitely drop. It's 
<laughs> man in a suit. Maybe he is. All the Digimon in this game are cosplayers. They all mo cap <laughs> the uh, the walking animations. Character said DLC. I oh, am. Yeah. All the cameo stuff. Did you evolve yet? No. Anything new? this just because it has three mods. I mean, this, this doesn't feel like a Digimon game. Like, let's be honest, like, Digimon's running around with weapons it seems like a really weird concept, so it, it very likely was a reskin. You know, like, it just took a game and, like, alright, how are we gonna sell this? Oh, let's just throw Digimon on there. Done. Wisdom and Spear is like I'm nuking things, but don't know if I like that defense drop. I mean, then they just literally take scenes from the movie as the intro cinematic of this. They don't even make their own cinematic, they just use the movie cinematic, so it feels like kind of like a cheap, kind of quick cash grab thing for, for Digimon. Yeah, let me do this next data. Technically dumb. Okay. Sixty to do anything with this. No, this ten X data isn't going very far, is it? How much does this actually increase the speed? Does it tell us before and after? Oh, Two twenty-five. Literally plus one speed. For 10x data. Yeah, plus one speed, wow. Alright, I guess we're gonna need a lot more x data to do anything useful. for now. I 
as well keep these if I equip the uh, the dagger. In there. This in there. This in there. I will never use it probably. Oh yeah, I mean that's why our speed, I guess our speed is pretty low except for equipment. Even though our speed looked like it was high, it wasn't actually high. Sonic U. So many SMT games. I mean I've enjoyed all the ones I've played so far, so... Who knows if Demi Kids is gonna be any good. Game all right. All right, so let's junk. I this game wants to have like so many different prompts <laughs> constantly. Like every time you do something, are you sure? You want to do this? Are you 100% sure? Are you positive? Are you really, really positive? You really, absolutely want to do this? This is your last chance. Poison from body. Poison is strong. You cannot remove it all at once. You need to use multiple ones. Sounds like bullshit. You just like the save. I'm gonna count exactly how many prompts we have to we have to go through to get the save. Most games it's like one to go into the save, two after you choose your save slot, and three if you, if you want to overwrite. And then it saves. And maybe one more just to like confirm and go back. So maybe four at the most. Let's see how, how many it takes for this game. Solid quality. That's part of the reason Demi Kids go for like massive money. <laughs> All right, so one to open up the thing, two to go to this, three to go to this one, four to go into the actual menu. You get a loading screen, of course. I don't know why the hell you have a fucking loading screen for this one. And then five to go to save, and then six to choose the memory card. I guess that's one thing you would have on the other one, too. And then you gotta choose the thing. You're looking at seven. And then yes, you want to save. So you gotta click on, on that dialogue screen, and then now you gotta press again. So that's eight. <laughs> save the game. And then 9 to say yes to this one, and then 10 to say you're done, then 11 to say return to the lobby, and then 12 to return to the lobby, and then 13 for the start button. It takes 13 button presses to save your fucking game in this. <laughs> Alright, 
Not counting, like, to choose your actual, you know, slot in that. Yep, lost again, yep. <clears throat> but it'll show up next fast forward, obviously. Yep, yep, that's not gonna give up until it wins. Original Game Boy. Just wanted to pay full price to games that have Mankey, not Mankey. Yeah. I mean, having two different stories is definitely. I mean, I, I I wasn't aware it was two stories. I hadn't like combined to one game, thinking I was gonna play like one of the versions, and then I looked into it and it's like, oh, you get two different stories. It's like, oh, really? <laughs> I guess we gotta play both now. Yeah, people don't like nice things. <laughs> People like pain. Boy, howdy, are they giving us pain. Right, you can only have one. Okay, so. <laughs> so having three mods on this one, multiple power levels, isn't gonna do me any good, anyways. Yeah, you can only do that. You can only have like one of the. a certain slot, or a certain chip, I should say. Kind of annoying that it. It removes the mods whenever you switch your weapons. <laughs> you learn nothing. I'm suffering so you don't have to. You're welcome. discs. I don't need any more of those. I have to die in order to, to carry more raised discs. Stuck in the corner. Oops. What was that thing? Keychain. I'm not sure what keychain is. Maybe it's for doors. 
lower key in, inside of dungeons or whatever. You can use race disc to heal. I know, right? other enemies. It's not in this dungeon. This enemy just loves, this game loves throwing poop at you. You thought this game was shitty. <laughs> you were right. this place. Got to like walk back out the long way. You know that teleporter. Different enemy now. <laughs> Got Burumon or whatever, Ogremon or whatever his name is. The Burumon, I think, is the weak ones, right? Mike Tyson. It's gotta be tough. Are you played him blindfold. That'd be impressive. He's got banned. What? Seriously? Like temporary ban, right? <laughs> There's no way he would have just gotten banned. Banned. Unless he's like faking it. What the fuck happened there? There's no way. Showed his booba. He went topless. Nah, no, it's, it's gotta be fake. I mean, it's not the first time the costs. <laughs> Shown some booba on, on like some booba from games, but unless somebody like somebody like uh, chain reported him or something. The movie trailers off YouTube with nudity, really? 
That's probably a temporary suspension, if anything. I'm sure it's just a temporary suspension. If anything, it's probably like the if there's any like the movie uh, the publishers in the movie or something probably like hit him with a content or a copyright claim or something. Who knows? Yeah, I hope so. I'm sure he's gonna. I'm sure there's gonna be a tweet out or something. 24 hour ban or something, who knows? The clip of a scene in the movie. Oh, yeah. well, let's really hope on oh, new enemies. Let's hope he's. Uh, let's hope it's just a temporary thing, because God. What are we gonna do without Macaw? We need some more Macaw! Who else is gonna, like, stream any of these weird ass games? We'll never see ourselves. We gotta use some MP. Is it like a boss room? That's fun. Never mind then. I would like this one never. Yeah, we're coming on a huge bill for sure. I'm sure it's probably a temporary suspen suspension. It's a big enough streamer where Twitch would be like losing good money by losing them, by like having them gone. Twitch doesn't like to lose money. Oh, playing for games, yeah. Who else is gonna do that? Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's probably a temporary suspension. It's very rare, hmm, one way to trip, man. It's very rare which bans, like, a per permanent ban. Once you do something, like, really, you know, bad. Exactly. It's probably like 24 hours of if that. Fourteen days would be a little overkill. upgrade until we get a unless we get a beta one
some 300 bash skill. We can have a... Doesn't have a mod, but I'm sure it's better than the one we have right now. A long ways to go. Let's hope it's minor, whatever it is. Uh, I jumped down there. <laughs> Am I screwed? Let's not take a chance. I don't see a button. says keychains Disc items lists. Hmm. I don't know. 32 hours, three days, possibly. I'm sure he'll update the community soon if he hasn't already. Usually, something like that, you'll get like a letter from Twitch or something. Or, um, maybe not. Twitch might just ban you with no explanation. Things aren't uh, super hard. Pretty good XP though. We need XP for those wimpy ass things. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Than these bastards. These give me like less experience. I'm getting like 24 XP from these things. Always, though. It's a late night chat. Gotta love it. Uh, you can digivolve. There's there's four starters, and you can digivolve. Um, 
I imagine you can't really like you can't just swap to one of those other ones. You I mean you can create other characters and then like stop using this one and use another character. But I, I, I'm assuming the key items stay with your your specific character, so you probably have to redo an area. Mimethmon. I want to stick with range attacks for any any of the bosses. <laughs> Never. Ow! Ow! Because that did so much fucking damage. So don't get close enough to get hit by that blast. Easy to dodge his, uh, his charging, but stay out of melee range, because he's fucked. And you, you definitely need range attacks for any sort of the bosses. Like, their melee attacks, range attacks are so insanely painful. He has iframes for like 90% of his uh, <laughs> his move sets here. I have an iframe of like one frame. <laughs> He's got an iframe of like 99 frames. Hey, new guard. Ugh, this game is this game sucks. <laughs> and even when he doesn't have iframes, he just guards every attack. I think it's a relatively easy fight if you stay away from them. Can't see where he is. Man, this is annoying. Blocking me. Let me do damage. Just got two hits in there. It's rare. Alright. I know, right? Alright. Both ID cards now. It's all two beam rifles, yeah. Yeah, like what? So our 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 iframes is literally like we get hit and then like a split second later, like two frames maybe, like we flash and then we're we're vulnerable again. This guy was like invulnerable for like ninety percent of his his actions. 
Every time he trumpeted, as soon as he started trumpeting, he was invulnerable. As soon as he was doing a charge, he was invulnerable. It's like, this is fair. Before we go back, let's make sure we clear out this area. Spin thing, it's too hard to like get off accurately when you're middle of battle. I mean, it barely spins, it spins for like a second. It's not like you're doing any additional uh, damage either. Just like the, the whole charge attack, like the charge attack takes like a decent amount of time to get going, but it doesn't do any additional damage. So why use it? <laughs> it's good if you need to get out of a tight spot, but. I mean, if you're, if you're trying to charge this up in a tight spot, you're probably screwed, so... You're better just to try to, like, dash out of the way or something. There's, like, one other path here I could have taken. Welcome back, Abyss. Came from here. Is it the path I didn't take over here, I don't think. Maybe it did. I don't know. It all looks the same. I'm assuming once you kill the boss, then, like nothing else spawns, so. That sucks. The joys of getting old, right? <laughs> Pull your back on the simplest things, like, god damn it. <laughs> you know, when, when, when you, you pull your back from like, getting up from bed in the morning, that's, <laughs> that's when you know it's time to retire. <laughs> 25. My back waking up, yeah. Throw your back turning half a uh, half a turn. I'm <laughs> in the shower. Hopefully not slipping in the shower, because that would, that would suck. Alright, what kind of crap do we have here? Still not sure what the hell these, uh, these keychains are for. Man doesn't explain it. I can't scroll down further than recovery. V-Pack, I'm assuming some sort of backpack. Keychain... maybe it lets us hold more keys? That, that wouldn't make sense. Skull Grimon's bones. And your passwords? Your passwords. Alright, this one we're definitely throwing in the bank till we get 300. Uh, Bash skill. I guess there's no point in carrying more than one of these around since they don't stack. You can't have more than one on your weapon, so. Just all the rest. Did you mount a camp? It's important. Can't lose that. <laughs> I 
I wonder if I should pick up, uh, I'm assuming you could probably pick up different elemental stuff. I mean, if you had more than one mod space, like that, uh, dagger. They have a bank keeper in every zone, but they don't have like any of the important ones. The digi gate and save dude. Keeping See if this is worth three thousand bucks. Those are the uh, the three mods. Could they not think that people would be selling items? <laughs> people are never gonna sell. So let's put like three confirmation boxes every time you sell something. Yeah, multi-cell would be a great idea, but this game, multi-cell? Give this game way too much credit. Like, ha have a buyback screen, boom. Then you never need to ask if you want to sell or not, you just buy it back. I know, right? It's such a complicated system. I was gonna say, 25,000, Jesus, five mods, holy crap. Little overkill there. <laughs> Can't afford that, but. Be a really strong blade if we, uh. Once we have 210 bash skill. Which, uh, we're about halfway there at this point. Yeah, clun clundaglots, whatever, whatever the hell metal. Not sure what the hell that is, but it sounds impressive. Somebody told you something was made of clundaglots metal or whatever. You'd be like, huh, must be rare, I've never heard of that metal. No special armor. This is just random. I wonder how, like, if I leave the the board and come back, how often that that can be, like the the rare mod versions can happen. Okay, so it definitely stays on at least uh, like leaving and going back in the menu. I'll go. Yeah, was it in that same position? I felt like it was in a different position, but same thing. Maybe new ones showed up above it kind of thing and it pushed it down, maybe? I don't know, maybe leaving the home place, maybe just zoning in and out. So we can test that real quick. That's probably some sort of Digimon. <laughs> Just like we had a weapon that was made of uh, Skull Greymon's bones or something. We 
we Digivolve yet? Probably have to hit like level 99 to Digivolve or something stupid. Probably at least level 10, I would imagine. Various alloys are different properties. There you go. Yeah, probably. Probably like three times the size, but just as slow. Digivolving for me. I haven't found a better uh, gun yet. Yeah, it definitely has a Faint Star Online feel, doesn't it? I haven't found any booster packs either. I almost have to buy them or something. <laughs> Like, maybe this was originally meant to be a, a Fancy Star online game, and they're like, it's like, make, turn it into Digimon instead. Album. Nine pages of cards, not even. <laughs> cards in total. Oh, we're still back to open. Yeah, the music is very chill in the home server. Yeah, that's true. Can you start on line 3? 416, not that far away. Weird ass name. Ready to start online three card revolution. I don't know what the hell card stands for, but it's probably like a probably stands for like card and threw a card in there just for the hell of it. Of course, I won't like it. Fantasy Star Episode 3 Cranky Angry <laughs> they save? I don't think I save. Now we should have now we just need to go and do the switches, right?
It's very chill. The music in uh, Fancy Star Online was pretty good, so yeah, I could see it. That good? Universe. Only 722. Be there in no time. Oh, man. The music was a little too chill. Damn. 30 damage to these guys now. So it makes it annoying because they just like jump up every time you hit them. It's been hurting them or something. Alright, I need to go for these. For the best, I imagine. Okay. This thing's respawned. I didn't uh, put my bits in the bank, did I? I'm gonna be losing those, aren't I? I'm sure it's gonna be a, a boss fight. Well, I suppose I can just reload. Guard room. Dance classes, I am. Oh, yeah. the XP. Well, this is giving us like 32 XP. Exciting combat. Just mash the button.
Yeah. Basically said, like, go back to the room, pretty much. Spawn infinitely. Can I grind here? <laughs> Get a couple levels. I don't see anything else in this room, so I probably just have to kill X number of these guys. Fast forward. So fast forward every uh, five games. I play a game that kind of uh, skips the the normal chronological order that I, I do. And you guys get to vote on which one gets played. So at the end of this game, I'll I'll choose five games at random, and you guys get to vote what's going to be played for game uh, three hundred and eighty-five. Don't choose another game like this. <laughs> well, now at least I, I'm like not like the, the beginning of this game is rough. Now I'm I, you know at least getting the hang of things. Maybe still have way too much fucking health. So that's still a problem, but. At least we're not dying in like three hits. Dying, dying in five hits this time. Three days, okay, so 72 hours. Sony mentioned 72 hours, so. Well. Now, apparently, there's like some trailers of the. It's like a, a trailer clip of a movie where there's like some. some nudity in there, so. I guess he gets a three day break. Well, three days is better than like, you know, like a week or armor ban or something. <laughs> Still sucks. This sucks for anybody who's, you know, where streaming is their main source of income, so. Yeah. I wonder, is, is it his, his first uh, suspension? <laughs> I'd be surprised if you got some at some point. Mikado's usually pretty careful about like anything with nudity and that. He's got like his his uh, sensor screen and stuff like that. Yeah, it's the first one. Yeah. But when you're playing a game where it's you know it's gonna happen, you know. I mean, like, <laughs> kind of know it to be ready for it. We have a trailer, movie trailer, which I don't know, was even aware that trailer had that kind of stuff in it. So that could come out of surprise with no like warning. stream on Pornhub or something.
Yeah, he'd be like the uh, number one streamer on there. Why is this Australian dude who's not getting naked getting so many viewers? What's going on? Yeah, exactly. I mean, I guess you could do like a, a PC-88 or PC-98, you know. <laughs> Play through a bunch of games on, on those sites without any worries. Let's go all out. The call after dark. How many is Windows 98? Five games, exactly. I'm sure he has quite a, quite a collection. <laughs> it's probably not safe for Twitch. Not completely safe for Twitch. He's got the... pure to stuff. Yeah, they seem to have more health. I mean, we're doing more damage. They're definitely taking more hits, but they're also giving us more experience, so... First ones are giving us, like, what, 10 XP? Are we there yet? God. How many floors is there? Sex dude. Has he played the fabled Sex 1? my uh, device folder. Ooh, four mods. Yes, please. Huh, gotta wait till we get back to town, but <clears throat> I'll take that four mod one easily. And I can buy those other elemental ones and give us another uh, plus 90 hit, uh, strength. I wonder, if, I wonder if you can even equip more than one elemental one. Maybe you can't. I don't recall if they mentioned... I know you can't equip one of the same type, but maybe different elemental ones. But at least I can throw on those other... Like speed and shit like that if I need to. Gob room. Hmm. Let's check out the gob gob room. see what's happening here. <laughs> God. Game can't handle as many gubs.
unfortunately did not happen. Timer loading time. Yeah, this game loves its loading times. I mean, it's not too bad when you're outside of the uh, home base. That home base one, like, frig. Like, they, they could have easily found a way of, of making all those, uh, all those areas, like, one area without having loading times. But they. Instead of optimizing the game and making it so that, you know, that happens, it just said screw that. <laughs> no optimizing. go back to the other place now and see what was there. I'm assuming this place stays cleared now that we, we've gone through it, and if not, it's free XP. I mean, these things are easy as shit, so... Cheers. Well, it started off a little rough. Now it's just... It's, it's gonna get grindy as hell, or... It's gonna be repetitive as hell, but it's not terribly hard anymore. Now that we got a couple levels in our belt and items, healing items and that, the game definitely throws you in with a pretty big difficulty spike right off the bat. First two enemies, you just get your your, your face mashed in because you're expecting like a fairly simple hack and slash. You go up to them and you just get massacred because like, oh jeez, these things take like 50 hits to kill. You do tons of damage. Digimon Lab. We're gonna find Professor Xavier in here. We will get some nice claws. Adamant him skeleton. You need digital DNA conversion system switch off. Open the data scan in Digimon number one. Conversion to Mecha Rogue. Right. You have to turn to a Mecha Rogue or something. Oh, you have to fight something. you fight a boss in a room where, you know, let's just put his big ass, like, hovering object blocking your view in the middle of the room. You know, people are gonna love this. You were able to stun lock him there. Leomon. Hmm, what was that? I think I was fighting with someone. This is the Doom server. A brilliant world created by us. Hey, who's there in my head? We are the new rulers of this world, the Mecha Rogue. No, I'm not. I am, yes, Leomon. 
It was that time when I was taken deep inside the Doom server and the X-Virus. Ah, uh, oh, my body. <laughs> Kim the Amon run Doom. Uh, sorry, can you take me back to the home server? I need to report what I saw to Ophanamon. <laughs> he says he just teleports. Well, I guess we're walking back here the, the long way. Thanks, game. job. Currently, Leomon is going through treatment in the Digilab. I wonder if that would even make Leomon like that. According to him, the other Digimon were attacked and captured. Yeah, at least the good XP in that area, so... Please, hold on. There's a message from the Digilab staff. Let's see. That's what I thought. Just as we thought. The program that was reconfiguring Leomon's body is the same as the unknown program spreading around the Digiworld. That means the program, the X-Virus, as Leomon says, will probably be able to reconfigure various digital data. If that's true, then Doom server, which is the unknown server that suddenly appeared, may be the Yamato server we lost contract with earlier. Can't just sit there. The Digi-Elves are still in Death Valley. Here's the boat key from Leomon. We use it to save them. The boat key. As much as I want to, I can't leave here now. You're perfectly capable of completing this mission. Please, your only hope. Might switch to that new sword. X's turn to host the Maverick players. Yep. Oh no, we we were talking because of the ban. That's what brought up the conversation. It's not. Like, I know what caused pretty, like, good about, you know, what he, uh, like, uh, how he streams, you know, he's, he's always got, like, a finger on the sensor button, if you will. And he always shows us the weirdest shit that we, <laughs> we'd never see ourselves, we'd never find ourselves. Cause got the good repository of, of like, the weirdest cramp. Alright. Equip the sword. I need to see if uh, we can use different elemental things on, this, on one weapon. Taiwan. Taiwanese RPG based on Shakespeare, exactly. Stuff that nobody, nobody would ever stream. Like, <laughs> McCall will stream it. Oh, no digivolution yet. Four mods. <clears throat> Yeah, he's got a lot, a lot of, uh, of those kind of games that I've never seen, like, you, you, you can't even find, like, screenshots or anything like this. There's no information anywhere on the internet. The cause probably got a copy.
where the hell he finds this shit? I don't know. He's got his sources. I'm sure he, he like... He, like, checks all the, the, the weird, like, auction sites. Five data. Can't do much with that. Come back here after we uh, sell the stuff. I'm assuming rare items are the ones with the color. I haven't seen one of those yet. skill up to. One fifty one or one fifty two. I think the next one from the bank that we had was like two hundred and something. I'm curious if this uh, four slot one with like fully equipped is gonna be better than that. Yeah all those gaburumons they were fighting. Huge waves of those. This one's 300 for the uh, Gamma. We don't have a beta one yet, do we? Slash skill. No. Yeah, so 300, I guess, is the... We found a uh, beta version of that, maybe... I don't need two of these, so let's get rid of one of these. I got the Grand Blade. Yeah, 210 for the Grand Blade. Buy one of these other elemental power metals and see if we can put two different elemental things on one weapon. My guess would be no. Okay. 
and we have one elemental. It's probably good to have the other elementals anyways in case we need to hit something with that element. So what else can we equip down here? Speed, spirit, wisdom. Critical rate up is probably good to get. I mean, this one here, I mean, I could throw it on there because we, we already bought it. But critical rate up is probably good to get. And then maybe a speed chip, I guess. Cross slots. Icon and this icon looks very similar. The problem is, like, all this stuff is just taking up more device folder room, too, so. I don't know how many pages we get. I've yet to fill up like the second page, but when you go into a dungeon, they like drop these drop weapons and stuff like candy. But I guess all the uh, the, the basic alpha stuff, I'm getting what like 30, 40 bits for some of those. So I mean, those are gonna end up destroying it. I wonder what'll happen if. I'm assuming my inventory is full, like I'll be able to, like it'll just won't let me pick up an object. It'll be obvious once it's full. I don't need to do that in, in the heat of battle or something like that. So, let's buy some more healing items. Because there's no point in really buying anything other than this, or using anything on this, until we get more than 450 health. So buy a cure disc? I mean, might as well. I, don't, I haven't been poisoned yet, but it's good to have them before we get poisoned, not after. 666 bits, nice. Save and then, or a uh, go to that boat. I'm gonna go back into that dungeon, go to the place we didn't go, so the lab was like a side thing, and then we had to keep going the other way. But I guess it was the opposite. Unfortunately, booted this right back to the entrance. I went deep down to Doom Surfer, searching for, or oh no, I can't remember anything after that. Why me? Why? Great, PTSD. Veneta Vermillo. exist otherwise yeah imagine any of those 
is the Shinjin stuff. It's probably like very little information about all that kind of stuff. Ones that are selling vending machines or just at, at cons and stuff like that. Probably very few copies of those out there. Hey, Andrea. It starts off pretty rough. I mean, now it's... I mean, it's, it's not terrible at this point. Definitely starts off pretty tough, though. And I've kind of gotten the hang of it until the game just sends me to the next server and then absolutely murders me. It gives me another one of those barrel jumping puzzles. Puzzles. Barrel jumping platforming sections. Or just platforming sections in general. Platforming and... I fell into that platforming section and went back, came back with like one hit point. <laughs> so you don't want to be falling off of the uh, platforms in this. I haven't died since I since I was level one actually. Now that I think about it, I wonder how much experience you actually lose. Because even if you use those raised chips, which I've got plenty, so no problems using a raised chip short of getting back to my body. I wonder how much XP you actually end up losing. Because it does say you still lose some, so it's kind of annoying. Yeah. They were definitely correct about the name right off the bat. That's why they, they double checked if you're sure you, you're, you're done with the tutorial. <laughs> I mean, they didn't just take off the training wheels when you, uh, when you left the tutorial. They took off one of the... Uh, they just converted your bike into a unicycle. <laughs> Going at this without any handlebars now. And it's like 16 servers in this. I don't know if there's actually going to be 16 we're going to access, but at this rate, <laughs> we're still on the first server. All 14 stuff made a bit progress in Cyber Sleuth. Nice. Yeah, yeah, you get to choose from the uh, from four different starters. You get, to get classics like Agumon and Guilemon and stuff like that. It's like let's play the one that's different. One that. I don't know if this one did this one even appear in previous games. This is like a prototype one or something. Yeah. Thanks for that. I think maybe I'm going to a different server now, I don't know. Hope we were done with this server and all of a sudden we're done. <laughs> Came over. Yeah, that wouldn't make sense. Yeah, I guess they keep introducing new Digimon and like different series and stuff like that. So I'm just gonna do this entire area again, aren't we? More XP. That was blue. 
There was a long sword. First blue. Still open. Nah, got through the entire dungeon again. Yay. trying to do a spin. It's easier just slashing constantly. Why do a spin thing? Yeah, level up again. Was gonna use a healing thing, but we don't need to do that anymore. In this PS1 games, oh yeah. I don't remember much about the PS1 games at this point. Good old PSD and all that. Kind of sucks with the uh, crits is that it just builds them backwards, which means it takes longer to kill. I guess it's kind of good when you're getting surrounded, so you don't get close up to you. I notice I'm not getting like blocks either for a while now. Maybe the, uh, the skill, the higher your skill, the less like you're to be blocked. Whole bunch of stairs. Yeah, it's definitely a Gauntlet like game. It's the first thing it reminded me of is uh, Gauntlet Legends. It's like Gauntlet Legends mixed with some like fancy Star Online kind of. better game. Still don't know what all these keychains are for. The game's not good, it's just not difficult. <laughs> Got decent enough weapons and stuff now, or not exactly like getting massacred. But I'm sure, you know, the next area I get to will probably be. Uh, next server will probably like instantly kill me again.
so much XP. Sinsen. It probably depends on the level of the enemies. There's enemies in here, obviously, I mean, there's a whole bunch of them, plus they're definitely higher level than some of the earlier enemies. Which is why they're giving me so much more XP. Uh, it, it was it was kind of like a fast forward for fast forward sort of thing, <clears throat> since uh, obviously the the Persona two games are kind of linked together, and it's the first part of uh, Persona two. I decided to play it before I played yeah yes one version. Made more sense playing it then. It kind of sucked playing the PS1 game after the PSP version because uh, <laughs> lots of nice quality of life stuff added in the PSP version that weren't in the PS1 version. There's a lot of gambling. The casino didn't play itself. After all this, the uh, the thing I get in this direction is worth coming back. Hopefully, I just don't walk into a room and there's like a treasure chest full of uh, HP disc alphas or something. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. the eternal curse of having a backlog. Know they've warmed up past the intro the introduction kind of thing. I mean, it's just a hack and slash, and obviously this game could definitely outlive its welcome. But probably the best of the ones I've played so far isn't saying much, and it can get much worse later on, I'm sure. This three was okay at the beginning too, and started getting repetitive really quick. And they had you walking around in circles for like, for like 
ever. Yeah, this definitely seems like... I mean, I don't know, maybe I'm gonna be... Once I get into this boat ride or whatever... We'll be hitting another, like, difficulty spike, but... We've got a pretty good weapon, and we're just massacring things left and right. It really depends on the enemy. Like, these these goblin dudes are pretty easy. Let's look at those stupid, uh... Numemons or Sukumons, or whatever the hell they are. Those, those poop ones. Those ones had really annoying patterns, so... They could definitely throw the next enemy on there, which has a really tough, annoying pattern. Hmm... Memory is a step back, man. Well, no. Can't even go down there. See? Literally just step out here and dead end. <laughs> Came all the way here for nothing. I'm gonna take the boat ride. Gets you to the power plant or something. some XP. Uh, Was it 210, I think, for that next sword? The question is, is that sword better with no mods compared to this sword. It's kind of hard to tell because some of the mods are uh, like the speed and that critical rate up thing. But if it's like 200 strength more or something like that, then for sure it's going to be better than the fully modded version of this. Especially if I can find one at the shop that has some mods. A room for mods on it. This one's room for two mods. This one's blue. 210, yeah. So this one gets a whopping two strength more. <laughs> I think we'd go over this one. We're gonna have to sell some stuff though. That's a pretty big increase in strength. I don't know, how much do I have right now? 277? Yeah, I'm pretty sure this one here gonna be better than what we're using right now. You know ours is gonna be selling for like six thousand something because of the uh, the mod room. I should keep that the the rare dude. I don't know if that's considered rare, but I'm assuming colors are are Indicate rare.
sell this one. 300 is the next one. Sell this. I mean, this I could sell this one. I doubt I'll be working on slash skill. Well, maybe it will once we do a digivolve or something. Yeah, it starts off kind of slow, but... for sure. The music in this place is definitely not doing much to keep me awake. <laughs> Such a chill music. He wants me to sleep. There. There's enough money to buy. Did you guys sell those key things? Let's see. Actually, see what it does. A very rare item. Perhaps someone collects this. Okay. Somebody that collects keychains. Okay, that's. That was a backpack. That's a booster pack. I can buy booster packs here. No, no that's, that's sell. save at some point. That's why the weapon, that's why the uh, manual didn't say anything about those. If I, if I actually heal by using that healing one on it. Probably the crit one is probably good to have. Crit one and potentially the heal one if I actually heal this time. Now I'll throw on one of those strength boosters. Leave the speed one off. Done the bank for now. Around first. So I'm curious if we're going to have a digivolution at level 10. Has to load all the, the new assets. Oh. 
Ooh. Double wielding? That's a thing. Looks like that other arm last time. Nice. I know, I know we had it with one of the other weapons, but it wasn't like the bashing weapon, so I figured like, quit the bashing, but didn't realize this thing was double-handed. So it's even better bonus. I don't know if that strength thing is considering the dual-handed nature of it, or if I actually get like 463 per weapon. It might actually be weaker than the other one. Those with me just in case. Throw this in the bank. It's in there for now. Throw this in there. Yeah, apparently. Our Kirito. Be able to have one gun and then one sword. We can dual wield. We can dual wield the guns. Why can't we dual wield one of each? Yeah, maybe the junk dude. Could be. I didn't go back to see him after uh, we first tried visiting him. It does say he collects junk. I mean, key things doesn't really sound like junk, but I mean, it would make sense. Yeah. And I definitely need to get that turbo controller so I can just hold down the X button when I, when I try to save the game. I'll do that for the next stream. In battle, I don't need to mash it as much now. Considering things die a little quicker now. Probably even more now that we got this new weapon. Loading screens combined with this music. Like dozing off every time it's loading there. One thousand bits. How many bits by junk parts? I don't have a thousand bits, so maybe not him. Or maybe it will be him once you give him enough bits. Yeah, I thought Hag was just menuing the game. I 
but imagine Dot hacked and paused the game every time you open up the menu. <laughs> that would be... Oh god, the thought of that. I'm betting they probably did that initially, like during during development. Didn't pause the game to be like more realistic, like an MMO. But there was probably like a huge backlash from playtesters, so they decided to make just pause the game. It does, but you know, that kind of breaks the whole MMO aspect of it, right? thing just kind of constantly pushes them back, so it'd be good once we get big groups of enemies. Yeah, exactly. If it didn't pause, that would be like absolute hell. those barrels and then we have to jump across the those fucking barrels again. I'm curious if these cards will have any sort of benefit other than just being collectible in the game. Thank God, but thank God our monster doesn't poop. Pretty funny, all of a sudden you like, you have like a toilet icon above your head and you gotta find the nearest bathroom, otherwise you just die. Sepsis or something. Ten seconds to find a bathroom. Go! I freaking like dodge. back up here, I come back with one hit point. 
I fall at one hit point, do I come back one hit point or do I die? Well, it seems to be easier to jump this way than just to jump back, so... Camera angle going back is a lot worse. Great idea. Let's not find out. Alright. You may know my river. Oh, am I? I didn't even notice. <laughs> Type weapon or MP technique to rescue the captured DGLs and attack Numamon base. Damage will become damage to the boat, so be careful. Can't recover HP or MP here. Can't use gate discs either. That sounds fun. The 10 Numamon cages in the way to Numa, Numa River. You'll find each of the DGLs. Destroy the Numamon cages and the DGLs can return to the main lobby. Try and rescue them all. They're our only hope. This sounds horrible. Especially since there's no freaking auto targeting of this. It's like they look trying to hit anything on purpose. Take the fuck. What's the range on those fucking missiles? One. <laughs> I got two. Really. Kill these things first. Because those things shoot in a straight line. Fucking missiles just snipe you from across the, the map. Fucking hell. because we didn't get all of them. <laughs> I'm gonna get like an instant game over because I didn't like rescue them all.
they're just dead forever now. I doom them to internal. Protect Kotoriumon. Definitely need to get a better gun thing for one thing. A little more like just find a good gun. Number five, expression four seven. After checking the Digimon who attacked us, we found a mysterious virus program, the X virus. Just thought that they had gone bad because their data was reconfigured by the X virus. It's very detection is stronger than deeper we go. What's going on here? We're going to check it out. Could redo it if I wanted to. <laughs> I wonder. I mean, now that I kind of know what to expect, let's see if, um, if the ones I've rescued are state rescued or I have to redo the whole thing again. Concentrate on the ones I haven't rescued, then it wouldn't be so bad. Yeah, it's taking us back to the river, so it's promising at least that we get to redo it. Whether we have to re rescue all the other ones. Yeah, the load times are kind of... Ugh. You didn't get. I'll take that. Got that one. Yeah, that one's kind of that one's gonna be tough. <laughs> In there. Those missiles just Get some that are just the same ones over again. dudes inside of them or something.
Heard me be uh, using Let's see if magic could like get through them faster, but carry the door. Well, at least I know I can go back and the ones that are are hardly trapped are the ones where I can redo those. Those last two are going to be hard just because of, you know, they're being blocked by uh, these these stupid Numemons here. But I basically have to kill the Numemons and free them in one go, which doesn't seem like it's going to be easy to do. Now without an upgraded weapon. Or another couple levels under my belt. find a new uh, gun, but I mean, I've yet to see one, so they, they're obviously very uncommon. Strong X fire signals within this dungeon. It seems there's something just beyond here. We're proceeding with caution. Find some more IDs. Rain. That's kind of annoying. They don't really telegraph that they're about to use that move, so. Rescue everybody first. No. I wonder. No, there's no. There's no guns in the shop. I don't think. I yeah, know. There's no guns in the shop. Six, a whopping three shot. Definitely uh, not loving up the shot down there. Oh yeah. points. Could get ready for Nep Nep again when it shows up for the third time in a row. Let's try to get this last two before we go back.
Or she could just redo the river without having to load the Abyss of Grief and then go back into the river. Yeah, it's a good thing you don't have to, like, I don't know, fight your way back up the river without those, freeing those dudes or whatever. I really wish those mods would stay attached. Like a swamp weapons, it doesn't like remove your mods and then you have to like reapply them every freaking time. an ad break every time there's a friggin' load screen. <laughs> Rich. Alright, so third one, and second last one. Get in the fucking way. That's about like one shot away. I'm sure other guns are probably faster, just this is like literally the only gun I have access to. I've yet to see any other gun drops or anything. Seems like my shots can go through geometry, so... No! <laughs> One more shot again. Ah, well, that was a waste. At least your your charge shot would actually shoot and maybe like do extra damage, but charge shots don't do extra damage anyway, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> charge shots are just like basically just to get through rocks. It's pointless against enemies. This isn't really XP though. I mean, those Numamons aren't giving a lot of XP, and plus, they take so many hits that it's not worth trying to kill them. You get way faster XP just going up that uh, that uh, tower where I fought the Oman. Practically, 
heart is practically impossible to die there. Especially with this regeneration thing, only getting one HP per kill or whatever, but or per hit, but they won't take that much damage. that both of these have a freaking Numamon that spawn right beside it and just get in the way of your shots. because I realized I could shoot through the geometry. <laughs> Let's kill him before he even spawns. Again, I just only have one to deal with now, one to worry about. We've got to wait the entire boat ride again. <laughs> That's tricky too, because by the time it shows up, it's like your, your shots don't reach it, and then Numamon spawns and just gets in the way. And of course, it's like behind you, so you're trying to blindly attack it. Well, the problem with magic is that. Uh, it doesn't really go straight and kind of heat seeks to the other enemies, so I don't think magic's really going to help too much. At least the, the gun that I can control. Yep. No, you can't charge the shot. Charging When you charge a, a gun, it just... You just, like, dash forward with the, with the shot. 
And even if you could, charge it, uh, charging doesn't do any additional damage. It's good for getting through, like, rocks and stuff, but it doesn't actually do any extra damage to the enemy. So with the gun, the X charge just dashes you forward just like anything else. We got this. Good thing you don't have to rescue every single one of them in one shot, too, because that would be especially rough. Especially, like, towards the end where there's, like, a whole bunch of them back to back to back. Yeah, co-op would be infinitely easier. You got two dudes using guns, jeez. This one here. This one you can't really go through the No. I got it, nice. Whew. Yeah, I mean you can't like shoot early, like you, you pretty much have to you can only shoot it once it shows up around the corner. Woo! Last one, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that one would be just trying to get that one. Like, you pretty much have to spend your entire trip trying to get that one. Possible trying to get the other ones.
those are annoying. That menu seriously needs to like close as soon as you use an item. You try to close it and the game just doesn't accept your input and it just stays open again, you use another one. There's also another two consoles. Yeah, imagine playing this four players on GameCube would have been a lot more likely because how many people had a multi-tap on the PS2, right? But yeah, <laughs> having four people who actually want to play this for any period of time is much harder. Especially since this game doesn't exactly have easy drop-in, drop-out uh, multiplayer. Like, you have to go back to the home base, you have to, like, add some dudes in, and... If somebody could just press start in the middle of nowhere and then, like, join in or something... Items. Let's see if that actually maxes out my inventory or if there's like room for like one more item after that. Activate the map. Stop trying to. Why am I not activating the map? This can't be on top of it, I have to look quick at it. Damage I have to get out of this. Locks you back. <laughs> yeah, you, you pretty much need to make a beeline for a bathroom every time your your dude needs to poop. Otherwise, yeah, we're gonna be turning into poop. Oops. Looking at the map, not looking at the floor.
course they're gonna make something annoying out of those. Cheat codes can get encounters within the step. You want to grind and none when you want to explore. <laughs> Need some something because we just get no combat at any point there. It's just comes dull. Things have high speed and they're like blocking my attacks. One more item, or if I feel like an inventory full thing. Amazing thing. I mean, it gives you variety if you like the if you like the source material, but you're not a big fan of the specific game or something. You've got a lot of different ways to play it, but. I don't want to touch that. Too. Yeah, if they took out all the padding and they made it so that the, the battles weren't super, super slow. Because the constant constantly loading in the, uh, the dialogue lines. you have to do something with.
don't have is darkness. Somewhere I missed. Like sneak by between this. darkness thing in here. Oh, this is, yeah, this is leading to the up below the barrier that switch was, so... through the barrier. <laughs> Long way around, I guess. I want to make you work for it. guys to stand on that. Hmm. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> I guess that could be things. Areas where you need two, two players or more. No good special loot for us there. I mean, I could always plug in the second controller. Although, do I even have a working second controller? I don't.
course, then I need to go back to the home base anyways to bring the second character with me, which would be a slog and a half. <laughs> Probably not worth doing. Plus, my second dude would literally be like level one. Let me get massacred real quick in this place. Unless I can clone my my dude, but I'm assuming your your Digimon has some sort of ID on them, so you can't like clone them. I'm sort of using like a like a save file editor or something. Back to home base. First time as any. What? I need to do that. Yeah, I don't know if the. It seems like Sukumon is the only one. I guess because they constantly like duck down and kind of whips. Maybe I was. Maybe they were just dodging it, kind of thing. No, I should go see if it gives us the option. Definitely save first. <laughs> Even if it does. No, I like I would digivolve into like Agumon or something. Or even better Ag uh, Nememon. Or Numemon or whatever. Shidomon. Some slots there. Four slots, nice. You probably need like more, like you probably need 
I think maybe you need like another Digimon, like one of your buddies, and then you can like Digivolve from one to the other. No, that wouldn't make sense. I'm sure it's gotta be like actual Digivolutions other than the basic uh, five of them. So maybe you need two of them combined together or something. Some weird shit. I don't know. Who knows? Where's the Check that section manual here. Even I think I think the game did mention like either level or like certain events or something like that you have the ability of digivolving to something. Digimon. If you have learned a Digivolve techniques, Digimon list will appear. This, this is like the Digimon you wish to Digivolve into and press X confirm. You'll not be able to Digivolve unless you have learned Digivolve techniques. When you Digivolve, your specs will change and your armor units will be detached from your armor slots and sub-slots. Your weapon units will be reset and the most powerful weapon that you can be equipped with in your new form will be equipped. Once you're done Digivolving, check the status screen to adjust your equipment. So from that, it definitely sounds like my like my skills will change, right? So my 300 or whatever, I would probably like lose that, probably reset to zero or whatever. Which kind of sounds annoying. But probably be weak as shit. <laughs> Some more. So I'm assuming I can equip. Like I can't. I don't think I can equip multiple, like speed ones, for example. At least not on the same item. And I can go get wisdom and spirit, but do I really care about those? Maybe I'll just put some resist ones on. I don't know. Let's see what's available. Lots of bits available. to a single wield. Yeah, he's in his eyes. Yeah, I guess uh, Digimon that have arms would be kind of a requirement in this game. <laughs> Like, all these seem to be armor-based ones, so it would make the most sense. Kind of a confusing thing, AB only.
Alright. Kinda don't wanna waste my money on like resist ROMs, but. I need to go uh, give a thousand bucks to Middle, what's his face? Middle Greymon or Middle. Middle Monkeymon? Defense. I'm assuming it increases the amount of times we, we do like an auto uh, defend. Seems trustworthy enough. Just leave me a Sukumon on my doorstep. This dungeon's almost done.
Prince Reed doesn't seem to do anything with that. It does seem like I'm auto blocking a lot more. It's really defense rate things nice. Hey, Banes. Well, as soon as I find a uh, good place to call it a night there. The problem with this game is, like, even if you save, you, you don't restart where you left off. You, you basically have to restart the server. You don't, you don't get to save your, your spot, you get to save your character. I kind of need to finish this, this area, otherwise I have to restart. Not from scratch, because I still have, like, the boat key or whatever, so I'd, I'd have to restart from the boat. map here because up is nice. I mean, you probably need high speed to block often too, so... I definitely feel like I'm like, going with a speed build is the, the way to go in this. Oh, 
my map. Thing. Seems like there's a little bit of delay between each one, so maybe we'll both. Let's take care of these enemies. Generation. Maybe give you health regeneration for a boss. <laughs> In this. Not with this character. Platforming time. Close to that, uh, that edge. Hmm. So you need to clear out the place. Rimon space, a, po a Pokemon space. Just combine Digimon and Pokemon. There you go, Pokemon space. I think it looks like a boss um, arena thing from that preview thing there. Definitely a boss thing. Devil dude. Don't go on there, Jesus. jump and shoot, so I'm assuming you have to hit those little pillar things.
those like fade in and out after you destroy the, the pillar thing. allows you to go in there and hit him. Fucking hell, Jesus. Much of that idea. And then we gotta like walk back, don't we? Oh god damn it. Well, maybe there's gonna be like a quick quick way back. Let's see. Do we have to like go through that entire sh thing again to get back there? But... I'm going to have to go all the way back through that entire dungeon. Oh, man. What the fuck? Like, you literally have to go back through the entire thing. Oh, not doing that tonight. That is just bullshit. Well, I, just, I figured, like, okay, after I destroy those things, maybe now he's vulnerable, so I go up there trying to smack him in the face, and, like, nope, now he's doing another <laughs> another thing. I guess we have to I have to figure out what, what, what to do with him on the second phase, so... Apparently going up to him and trying to try and attack him is not the right idea. Oh, no, it's more like, I'm tired. <laughs> I worked all day today. And yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to spend another hour to get back to this guy. Definitely not tonight. Yeah, that was fun. <clears throat> I mean, the, the game has gotten better, but you pull shit like this. Oh, you die to, die to a boss, now you gotta do the entire frickin' dungeon again. You have to get to the dungeon, you have to get through the dungeon, you have to get to the boss again. I mean, what kind of boss fight that has stuff like that, unless you're, like, fighting the final boss in a game. Imagine doing, like, a... I mean... It's like playing Dragon Warrior 1. <laughs> you die of the boss? Alright, you're... You're back to the, uh... The save point outside the castle. You gotta go through the entire castle again. Alright, well... <sighs> stop the timer there. <laughs> it's called there for tonight. I said, stop the timer. Stop timer. Timer start. Stop. No. Wait, we're done. <laughs> Battery dead. Help. Timer. Keyboard. Timer. Here we go. So stop the timer there. Um, so yeah, so I'll be on uh, tomorrow. So tomorrow I should be back on around noon or so. And, uh... Try that guy again, try to figure out his second pattern. Man, it's gonna be fun. Uh, let's see who we can raid up there before we head out tonight. I got Mr. J on. He's got his birthday stream going on. I guess it's his birthday today now, since it's past midnight. We'll uh, raid Mr. J. Wish him a happy birthday. We'll go from there. Uh, in the meantime, thanks everybody for watching. Hope you enjoyed some some pain, and I'll catch you tomorrow for even more pain. Fantastic night, guys. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye for now.